fan. What's up, bitches? To steal Caesar's word. Um, happy New Year. We're back. There's some curses tried. Um, how are you guys? Good. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I slept good. You slept good? That's good. So did I, actually. I didn't set an alarm yesterday to wake up today, and I was like, great, I slept so damn much. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's play some Curse Strahd. It's a uh, new year, new Strahd. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited. I love this game. Um, so I guess we could do some like introductions right quick. And then I'm going to pick on my second favorite Australian to do the recap. Um, so Silas, tell us a little bit about it. Hi, I am Silas. I am playing the group Rogue, the mysteriously masked figure. Well, not so masked anymore. But uh, yeah, Silas... Currently, actually, what are we doing right now? Are we moving? Are we going to the temple or not? The vote said go up to the temple. Then we are on our way to a <laughs> temple and also to kill a beast, so it should be fun. I am the spongy rogue, so I will be staying in the back. <laughs> uh, yeah, and and didn't they learn or hear a little bit about you? Um, last time too about something about being like a but butcher. I'm, uh, that's not been really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, confirmed just yet. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, Volker. Hello. What's up? Hi. Oh, you want me to explain? Uh, okay, I, I play Volker, who is a, uh, a blood hunter that has uh, recently been revealed to be a uh, dampier. Which is a half a vampire, and uh, you know he sometimes uh, has a little bit of an attitude. And recently, he's gotten in a bit of trouble with a prince, and has to has been forced to sleep outside. Yeah, you talk shit, and it ends up being on a prince. Interesting. Varus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm playing Varus, the half elf pack of the Raven Queen Warlock, uh, who, like Silas, is probably going to stay at the back for these fights as he's a squishy little warlock. He also just tries to mediate the group sometimes because because sometimes the group isn't easy to deal with. No, they're not. Okay, okay Dad. <laughs> they're not really. Yeah, uh, Clyde. Light Flingler, Flinger, Flinger. Uh, trying to level up here, <laughs> catching up from last week. Uh, he's a uh, halfling ranger, monster slayer, um, out in search of monsters, working for Volo, trying to uh, get as much information as he can on these. Uh, he's, he's very interested in, in, in what monsters do, where they come from, and, and, and what, they, uh, what they like to eat. So I'm assuming you'd probably, or he would probably take a, like an interest on um, Volker, knowing that he is what he is now. Oh yeah, he's he's writing down in his journal all kinds of good stuff. Nice. Uh, Grimus. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, Grimus <laughs> is the uh, I say the group druid uh, healer, stoner, animal summoner type of guy. Uh, Hit me for a ball type, likes to smoke weed sometimes. Just generally likes to not get into trouble, but unfortunately, this group has gotten into trouble quite a lot. But uh, it's a nice change of pace for him, and uh, yeah, he's uh, trying to keep everyone in this group alive, especially his friend Barris, and he's kind of taking a liking to Jingles, the monkey, the toy monkey. So he's trying to keep him alive as well. Not saying that he wants the others dead, but, you know. Right. Alright. And last but not least, Jingles. Uh, as previously mentioned, I am Jingles, the, the monkey monk, uh, cursed toy of Blinksy's toys, slowly becoming more and more flesh and blood. So. Well, probably pretty much entirely flesh and blood at this point, considering I can poo. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> and he throws it. 
Oh, no, he writes. Oh, I, no, he I, writes write on it. I, I, no, I write on Windows with it. That's right. Oh, Jesus. Wait, does it taste like peanut butter? I don't know. Maybe. No, I know. I know something Gromus has to try next. Uh. Sick man. <laughs> well, Gromus, Gromus has tasted a lot of excrement over the years. The try again. You're a sick man. It it serves a purpose. <sighs> Chad, sorry man. <laughs> you're, you're sick man. You're sick man. <laughs> oh, you Dutch! I swear. Uh, all right. At least I don't eat the maple syrup with snow. And a stick. Don't forget that. What a stick? Yeah, a stick. So what they do once it's like fresh snow out, they'll take some maple syrup and pour it onto the ground. And then take a stick and stick it in and get like I, I don't I don't get I don't get it. Oh, nasty, nasty! I don't yeah. want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it's like yellow snow too. Uh, anyway, so Varys, um, tell us then what happened last time. So last time we we finished I think we finished off the wolves. Uh, we rescued this kid and we we started taking him along with us uh, for for a while. Uh, no winery in sight. But we finally get back to his home that was behind the waterfall. He tells Volca that Volca can't come in. Um, we all go inside. It's a nice cave filled with a tribe of people. Uh, and, you know, some elders that give us quite a lot of background info on things. I think there was, what, there was a, a big tree. Uh, there was two other ones, right? Hmm. Big dead trees. That was mine, right? And then there was uh, the nearby scorpion. Oh well, yeah, that's something they wanted us to go deal with the scorpion. Uh, there's a weird temple at the top of the path we're going to, not a winery. So we need to go also find the winery because we don't know where that is. But it seems like we're going to go hunt this a giant scorpion. It seems from the description that that's been bothering them to hopefully earn some goodwill with them. I, I call dibs on the pincers. <laughs> Alright, and does anyone have anything else to add to that? I forgot the uh, the other two things. They, they told us like three or four important things. What the Weaver, that? the Huntress, and the Seeker. I'm looking at my notes. That's what they were called, right? Yes. And the ladies three. Yes. Yes, I gave you a lot of background information, which I do believe I pinned in Discord. Yes, I did. Was that in the Chris Strat channel? Yes. Uh, check the pin messages. It's a long, long thing. Oh, damn. What the hell? <laughs> yes. The ancient lore. I yes. had an uh, in-game note to it. Info. Um, you also had those uh, when you're you trying to search for the way out of the uh, uh, mountain or the, the woods. You found that um, those like eight lake ghost things that you had a nice conversation with, right? Oh uh, yeah, were, the uh, frost maidens. Yeah, they were talking about um, calling. Didn't they call? Uh, Silas the Butcher and Volker yeah. informed. Yeah, yeah, so. They did. Yes. And then, uh. Yeah, they asked. Uh, this group asked you to go up and. Yeah, they told you about the Amber Temple. And apparently there's some super, like, powerful weapon or something up there. I, I don't know. And then, um. Yeah, they said if you go and kill that beast. And I believe that it would um, help you back down to the path that you were originally on. That path, yeah. Oh, I, Varys also got like a token from the tribe to show to, what was it, like a couple of hunters that they had out? That is correct. So okay. when we meet them, I show that to them. The Taco Temple, or 
it's Didn't gotta be true. Didn't we also call a vote in Discord to see what, where we were actually going? You did. I'm trying to find out. Was that like before last session? That was after last session. Let's see. And, uh, I want to uh, uh, ask Silas for the uh, Cloak of Protection back. Since, uh, you know, he uses arrows and since we're going to fight a huge beast, which Walker likely has to tank, he needs all the AC he can get. Okay, hold on a second. Just Silas, give it back. Yes, Silas does give it back. Alright. It's, it's penis pass. <laughs> penis pass. <laughs> Ooh, this almost puts me over the weight limit. <laughs> um, so when does he get that back, like when you guys are heading out? I think before the rest. Uh, so I think so. Was, I think he was inside the, uh, the hobble. Yeah, but he, but he came out to talk to Volker. True. That's when Volker would have asked. Okay. Let's see, where's Walter? Did you put it on and attune to it? There we go. Nice. Uh, should give you an option or some coding to put on. There you go. Cool. All right. So we did the long rest already. You guys did your thing. Um, yeah, I wasn't here last week. Was Clyde able to find some uh, hand crossbows? They did not have hand crossbows in there. God damn it! <laughs> no. I need that bonus attack. <laughs> uh -huh. They do not have hand crossbows. They had like a spear thrower or something, right? I think they had a few spears, yeah. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's somewhere in here. Bam, there. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Bam. Varus can there. do mending, uh, Clyde, so make sure you get even the broken arrows. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Are we ready to head out? Uh, I, do these people actually sell staffs? Um, they can... Yeah, I mean, no, like, cause they're they're kind of like a warrior tribe. God dang it! No uh, shamans. No shame. Well, they have one shaman, but he's the old man. Yes, everyone's looking no, for a no great crossbow. No, no, oh, let me see here. Let me look. Just for you, I will look. Da, 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 da. Bam! Let's see. Bam! Bam! Should the pieces make their way here? They do not. Dang. I do they have any half blade? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are all like in like uh, heavy fur cloaks and crap. They're not wearing plate. Loin cloths. Just for laughs and giggles. Loin cloths <laughs> is what they're wearing. <laughs> In the in the mountain where it's freezing cold. No, they're they're not. <laughs> oh, lordy. Hey, nothing wrong with that line cloth, even if it's freezing. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like it's a fashion state. <laughs> no. <coughs> Fucking crazy bastards. All right. Okay, it's ready to head out. Yep, I am. Alright. Uh, let's go let's go oot and a boot. Oot and a boot. Alright, so I I just You moved can't you. use that word, that is our word. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. Sorry, eh? Oozer. Pitter patter. Canadians. Damn it. Pitter patter. And that's also our word, you can't use that either. I'm still gonna play someone with an annoying Canadian <laughs> accent sometimes. What's your word? You know the word. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. 
Uh, I freaking love Flutter Kitty. Anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> love uh, what? Letter Kitty. If you have not watched it, you should definitely watch it. It's the uh, new Trailer Park uh, Boys. No, no, no. It is not Trailer Park Boys. Don't ever. It is the new Trailer no, Park Boys. No, it is Boys. not. You cannot deny it. No, it, it is Canadian not. TV show that is spreading like wildfire through the world. No, it is not. Canadian or Trailer Park Boys. No, it's shit. Yeah, Letter yeah. Kenny is not yeah, shit. Park, oh yeah, well, tell that all the people watching it in the movies that were made for. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. Trailer Park Boys is the shit. No, Trailer yeah, Park Boys okay. is shit. I will it's die shit. on this mountain. I will die on this hill. Yes, you will die on this hill. You're currently on. <laughs> no, I will recommend the Great, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Fuck, Letter Kenny is a, the shit. Trailer Park Boys is shit. Final answer. No more questions about it. <sighs> no, no. Agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. <laughs> you're Canadian. You're supposed to agree with me and say sorry for disagreeing. Yes. That's the no. rules of Canada. I'm All never right. going to agree with you and Borgio, you bastard. <laughs> I am a bastard. No, I know who my father is. Anyways, all right. So, we uh, we leave Yadrak. Uh, meet back up with uh, Volker. Who, uh, uh, Volker, how, how do you feel about spending the night out here by yourself in the cold? Pissed off. Salty, maybe. Okay, same, thing as all, uh, same as always, then. Yeah, but, uh, you know, he's not, he's not gonna show it. Just gonna act cool about it. Business hey, as usual. Got it. I got you that nice cloak, remember? The one that's not from, uh, from Strahd. That's true. Just the cloak. <laughs> And yeah, he's wearing nothing underneath, just the coat. <laughs> just the, yeah, just the winter coat. I just know. All right, so uh, you start heading north uh, out of Yadrag. Uh, you get about forty-five minutes up into the uh, up Solinka Pass, um, and you're starting to come through uh, this road here. Passes kind of between two uh, two cliffs. Um, that are covered in snow and ice. Um, this is probably where they have told you that the monster is. Um, let me what? Think. What? Where? How much? How much miles uh, is that? That we're traveling right now? Because they told us it, uh, roughly an area where the monster is, right? The big scorpion thing. Yeah, they told you it's like an hour or two outside of the uh, outside of the. Uh, their little home. Likely for the past 30 minutes, Jingles has been annoying, saying, I spy with my little eye something that starts with S. Oh, Jesus. Huh? I spy with sky. my little eye something that starts with S. No, not the sky. No, is it snow? Yes, it's snow. <laughs> Alright. So, all of you, except for Jingles. You can hear her like soft moaning coming from like crags throughout the canyon. And you also see like several mounds of snow that like, kind of like start to move and then they settle back down. Uh, I don't like this. So this soft mo moaning, is it like a pleasurable moan or a painful moan? Painful. Uh, maybe we should cast a spell here. Is that Does it sound great? like those uh, ghost ladies? No. Uh, are we? Uh, I forgot. Are we really close to the location where this thing is supposed to be right now, or not? Uh, they did say you go up the pass. Uh, it's less than half a day's journey. And you've been out here for about two hours. Alright, uh, I'm trying to figure out how much we walked in terms of miles. Mm, you're climbing up, and it's snowing, so maybe a mile, maybe, maybe two. And we still have, like, the, that distance left to go? Nah, you're not sure. It just says you, you go 
like they just told you where to go. They didn't say how, like, they didn't say, oh, it's three miles and 3.2 miles or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused with what he's trying to do here. Why didn't it? Well, uh, I'm going to uh, you know, walk ahead a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh. Gromus is. Uh, oh, my God. Gromus grabs Ferris. Uh, and uh, Volker inside. He's like, uh, maybe I should cast a, a spell here to see if we can uh, locate any animals that are nearby. A scorpion is an animal, right? Yeah, it, probably a giant one. Yeah. I got a spell that allows me to locate uh, animals and plants and stuff. Within okay, what do you need? I don't need anything. I just need like ten minutes or something. Okay. Should I do that now, or should we wait? Because it has to be like in within five miles, otherwise, give or take. Well, at least we would know whether we had to continue before you know we cast it again, maybe. Hmm. All right. I don't know what he's trying so, to. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll discuss this plan with the rest of the group as well. Then, Stylus, Light, and Jingles. Like, uh, if we can wait like ten minutes, I can cast a spell here and see if there's any animals, plants nearby that might actually give us some kind of issue or not. Or wait, I have to describe a specific kind of beast. Sorry, I have to describe what it is. Well, don't you, they described it in the town, didn't they? That's what the Danish thing. Yeah, but uh, I thought I could use it like a general locator spell for all kinds of animals, but apparently I, can, I need to name or describe one specific kind of beast or plant, so I'm going to just say big scorpion or giant scorpion, and then hopefully if that thing is present within five miles, I should learn the direction and the distance. Hmm. Okay. Well, give it a go. All right. So uh, I'll share that with you and Gorgio in chat because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Wait, why can't I not? What? Ah, oh, there we go. And then uh, basically, uh, I'm just gonna try and ritual cast out. What the? What the hell is that beeping? It's probably from the locate oh. keyword in CNC. Oh. I know, I got me as Holy well. Like, what is that? Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is about to explode? What? What's D going on? Yeah. Des describe or name a specific kind of beast or plant. Okay. Giant scorpion. Giant scorpion. Ah, uh, you do not get the sense of a giant scorpion. Hmm. Did they lie to us? Well, their description I don't think was exactly giant scorpion. What did they describe then? I can't remember. I think uh, I might have it written down. Let's see. I thought they said it was a giant scorpion. Kill the scorpion. scorpion. A large creature must be slain towards Solenka Pass. Yeah, Wait. they mentioned a few things about it, right? Yeah. I'll look at Clyde as our resident monster hunter. like. Do you write down the details of this beast? Because a beast it is a demon, so it's not a beast. That's why it's not working. <laughs> I assume that, that was it's kind of a sleep last week. <laughs> yeah. I think people are paid you writing stuff down, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, let me let me let me look through my journal. Yeah, he he partakes with um, Grumus a little too much. <laughs> Oh, I got a Silas signed IOU. Uh, 100 gold pieces. Yeah, remember <laughs> when we saved Silas many, many, many sessions right. ago against the werewolves? Oh, yeah. Now, I don't have anything have in my see. journal from last week. 46 gold left. Poor Silas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. If we don't know... Oh, here we go. It says, to kill the scorpion, a large creature that must be slain up towards... Yeah, that's all the note says. Hmm. 
But that's all we know then, I guess. Sorry about your spell slot. Ritual cast. Oh, nice. That's why the 10 minutes, otherwise it would have cost 6 seconds. That's a ritual uh, spell. Says so. So does no one remember the exact description they gave Chad even though it was like last night? Oh, they, they described it as a scorpion type creature. It has nah. a big, long uh, tail with a stinger on it. That's how they described it. Uh. Can uh, Clyde roll his uh, monster knowledge to see what that might be? Yeah. But does that work as this, like if you were to describe the creature like that with locate, because the locate, you're not actually asking for a specific one, right? You're just describing it? Yeah, he's uh, describing, he's, what does it say, describe a beast that's within the area or something like that. Describe or name a specific kind of beast or plant, but if I just say, the only thing I basically know is that it has, they described it as a tailed beast with a poison tip on the end of the tail. Yes, and Clay would not have encountered one of these before. I know that. Uh, okay. Whew. How, you, how you doing, Drake? Though, how's uh, how was your New Year's? So instead, I should do the ritual again and then just say it has a giant tail with a poison tip on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Zylus, I don't know if that will work. Can oh, Zylus oh. do a perception check to see if there's any tracks of this, like a giant scorpion creature? Um, I'll give you this no. one. Yeah, it's snowing pretty heavily, so even like looking back behind you, the tracks like that you left not even five minutes ago are getting covered up. Okay, but this would the way they describe this thing would have been pretty big, so maybe it would have left a lot more of deeper and also maybe dragged through the snow a little bit. And I'll check around for like uh, broken twigs or things where something large has moved through the area. Sure, go for it. Just a shot in the dark, but yeah, like since it is snowing so much, probably. You want survival or perception? I uh, survival. And I'll send my uh, raven up on top of the rocks to just watch everyone and make sure no one gets jumped by weird moving snow. <laughs> did it roll? It did not. Let me do it again then. Pull my rooster out, see if it has a frozen. There it goes. Alright, so, uh, Silas Clyde, up ahead, uh, you don't see any tracks in the ground, but kind of like over here on these rocks, uh, like heading up the cliff itself, you see like kind of like a, like claw marks and drag marks, like is it as almost as if it was climbing up, something big was climbing up that, uh, that ledge. What kind of claw marks, like, would, um, does it look insectoid, or does it look more like, uh, claws of, like, an animal? Claws of, like, an animal. I'll stand behind Clyde's and see if he can determine what it could have been. You want to roll perception or stealth or, I mean, uh, survival? Which one? History? Insight? Uh, whatever you think your best skill is to determine what kind of animal this would be. Uh, I would like to help Clyde <laughs> with that if it's a survival how, creature. How would you... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Roll it with the advantage. <laughs> oh, they're going to get bogged down with this. So these claw marks look like very big direwolf claws. Like the size, like of a dire wolf. Bigger than the ones we fought before. Yes. Oh shit! Do you send my raven to follow the tracks up? There's a. No, that doesn't sound good. But uh, how fresh do they look? Do they look like they've been there for a while, or are they just recent? You see old ones and new ones. Okay. Oh, 
but we don't see any tracks down here, so it must mean it's up there. Can uh, Silas do another perception check just looking around this canyon area for a lot of these claw, other claw marks and maybe even some dried blood? Okay. I will say, uh, guys, I guess there's no way to go but up. Uh, you do not see any dried blood or fresher claw marks down on this ground. But is there, like, uh, not fresher, but are there, like, claw marks all through this area, though? Like, up the... along, like, kind of along here. Uh, like, on the rocks, yes. But on the ground, okay. I mean, it's, it's, just... snowing, it's snowing so bad on the ground. Whatever marks or, like, footprints or anything, it would be covered up. Did you guys always send my raven up to follow the, the tracks? I, rather than risking, you know... Silas will uh, turn to the group, like, I... I think we're in something's hunting ground. This is probably where it ambushes its prey. Uh, I could, we should move uh, through here as quickly as possible and as stealthily as possible. Yeah, I will say a uh, good time to get to work then. Uh, I will take a stealth check and try and move up ahead. <laughs> okay. I'll 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 quietly whisper behind him. Don't get snatched by the stinger. So you come up uh, as you're coming up. One of the uh, one of the snow bounds kind of like moves really quick, and then it settles back down. Can I do a check on that, or is it I've done enough perception checks as it is? Well, how are you going to check? Like, what are you doing to check it? See if there's like. You said this snowbound is like moving up and kind of like, it's is it moving from where it is or is it just rising up and falling down? It's just like moving side to side, like thanks to the wind. Okay, like, so like, like, like you, you're, you guys are in a canyon. It's a narrow canyon. There's wind blowing through here. It's moving the snow mounds around. Okay, so I can't really tell if it's the wind or if there's something under the snow and wait. Correct. Okay. I'll continue forward then. Uh, do you want another stealth roll or just keep going with the one I made? Yeah, just keep going with the one you made. Is okay. it possible? Is my stealth roll good enough to uh, uh, frighten Sidus by sneaking up behind him? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Sidus is just sneaking around and suddenly he feels someone bump into his back when he stops. Did I get a perception check for that or something? Uh, but yeah, Sidus so is like kind of stiffen up and then like slowly turn his head or... you see what? like uh, Volker's face way too close and he's like uh, breathing it's kind of creepy like he wants to drink your blood so Silas Volker as you're coming up here uh, you see more claw marks like climbing that way wait what the fuck is Varys doing Comes a shadow, emerges with his raven, so he's now a raven, I think? Yeah, so, I'm, I'm now sitting on Clyde's shoulder as a so raven. You see Varys transform into a raven, and that's like the first time he does it, right? No, no, so you see Varys turn into a shadow, and his shadow engulfs the raven he already has that's like on his shoulder. Oh, okay. So that's there's blood and claw marks up that way. Uh, does this canyon keep going up, though? Yes. Zylus will look kind of like can't really tell the uh, what the uh, how he's looking at uh, Volker since the mask is covering his face. Can't really tell if he's disturbed or not by this, but by what Volker's doing. But he'll like gesture towards the the blood and clawed area. Oh, I will uh, not, and I will uh, uh, take the lead towards this little hill here. Okay. Silas will draw his bow and follow in behind Volker. And, and Volker, when you step when you when you step on there, uh, you hear some what seems like a a scream start to come from like up up that path, and then it stops like suddenly. I uh, raise my hand in a fist. Uh, and I will uh, um, extend my fingers and I will put them to my ear and then I will point up towards the top of the ridge and hopefully they know what that means. 
and then I will continue sneaking down here. Give me another stealth. Do I hear any more sounds? You do not. Okay. I will um, uh, stop over here. This uh, cliff here, does it look like I could climb it or like maybe parkour up it using acrobatics, or is it too sheer? Uh, it's about 50 feet up, so you can oh, wow. certainly try. No, uh, it's, I didn't think it was 50 feet. I was thinking like 15 to 20. Okay, I will continue to move up this way. Can I uh, very carefully peek around the corner here? Give me another stealth. Oh, yeah. All right, so hang on. Let's do this. That's... And so, Volker... As you go to poke your head around, you see a, a creature that kind of looks like this, uh, staring right at you. Oh god. Jesus. And it's going to smack you with its tail. What the hell is that? It looks like a manicure. It's ugly, whatever it is. God. Hit him? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh let's damn. See. Let's see. And you gotta do this. Oh shit. And you gotta do this. <coughs> um. So, God. Can I use an inspiration to reroll that con? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll give it to you this time. <laughs> hey, you still failed. Uh, so, Boker, you kind of get stabbed, and then, well, you're paralyzed, so you don't even, you can't even tell anyone what's going on. Oh shit, he's paralyzed? Uh-huh. Oh wait, oh, you added that later. I only saw the poison and then a lag spike. Uh, we get all my initiatives. We did. All right. So first one up, Clyde. Okay, Clyde finished writing down in his journal real quick. And I posted it in Discord. I don't think you would have seen it. Oh, I can't see it from that far back. How it's, high are them? Uh, it, it's up. It's about fifty feet up. Oh, okay. Flies. Yeah. That oh my god run is so good. Yes, it is. <laughs> so he'll see it when he gets up there. So that's fifteen, twenty-five, fifteen, twenty-five, and fifty. Running a dash. Let me see if I got any bonus actions here. Um, oh, I don't have anything. That'll be in his turn. Oops, that's right there. I will uh, be paralyzed. Yep. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, you're no longer paralyzed. That's good. All right. Watch Jing. 18 Constitution. Yeah. All right, so Jingles moves. Can I see it when I get there? Uh, let's see here. Um, I would say, yeah, you could kind of see like an outline of it. Because it's still, it's in a cave. Uh, how dark is it out and is there any shadows around? Um, it is, I mean, it's still 
it's early morning and uh, we're still overcast like normal. So there probably would be shadows then, right? A little bit, yeah. Depending yeah. Well, I'm gonna to use. Do. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the shadow from Volker. And step into it and disappear, and then teleport 60 feet right up behind the monster. If there's a shadow there, I can pop into. Uh, let me see here. Just, uh... Yeah, it's, I get shadow step. I get that as a bonus action now. All right, so you want to teleport right behind him. You want to teleport right behind the monster. That is correct. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to take a couple punches at it. This might be the end of Jingles. Why <laughs> 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 uh, well, didn't it roll on the table? But maybe I turned it off. What does this test your luck thing do? Oh, I, I should have I should have had advantage on my first attack. My bad. For what? For the shadow attack. I get advantage on my first attack. Come out of the shadow, I can get advantage. Ah, okay, so just re-roll it then. Yeah, it misses! Oh, the second round of combat is when all these snow maidens appear. Oh, it's gonna be fucking hilarious. That's I had a ton of maps on top of me. I can't. I couldn't see if I hit or not. You did. You punched him in the tail. Break his tail off. <laughs> Snap it off. And uh, now as um as uh, 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 God damn it, it's been so long since I played. Uh, is, Grab a hold of it. Is using key points. Uh, is that a bonus action or is that just a? As I forget. Uh. Uh, let me see here. I don't remember. I don't play months. I don't know. I have to actually look. Yeah, Flurry yeah. Bros is a bonus action, yeah. Ah, okay. uh, so I would just. Uh, 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 I could try stunning it, I don't know. But, nah, I'm, I'm done. Oh, wait, I get an offhand, don't I? Yep, I still have one more attack. Three attacks? Yeah, I have one attack and then an offhand attack, and then I have two attacks now, so that's three. Alright, come on. Do it. All right, this guy. Um, he doesn't like getting punched in the back, so he's gonna turn around and bite you, Jingles. You can certainly try. And then it's going to lash at you with the tail. I will not. That law. <laughs> Silas. What the fuck is his AC at? 19? Holy uh, shit. Uh, did Jingles happen to shout that there is a monster up there? He's making Bruce Lee monkey sounds. Good you know afternoon, uh, yeah, you're for hearing. Wah, performance. Wah, How are you? Bulk is not paralyzed <laughs> anymore. I assume Bulk yelled, right? Probably. I will on my turn. On my turn. Unless I can do it now, then I would. 
I'm assuming he probably would have, yeah. Okay, so everyone's aware that there's a giant wolf monster thing up there. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, then... Wolf monster thing. <laughs> can I move past Clyde without it... it uh, uh, with, ah, without extra movement? Nope. No. Okay, so that's... Uh, 15 to get... There, or, oh, did that automatically... Can, okay, so that would be... 20 then. 20. Two. I will it's pretty. Bonus action dash. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, could I see him from there? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, so what do I get? 20 there? I'll try and move to there. Um, will... So, as real quick though, as you step onto this square. I need a deck yeah. safe. I need a deck safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on a second. I'll get you that. Do you want in the tower? Or... Oh, yeah. Don't slip, okay. Silas. Because you're stepping on that narrow ass ledge. Oh, you barely made it. Okay, go ahead. He will move to there, and he is. Uh, yes. Uh, the road is a uh, fallen this Azimir. Should, yeah, this would be sneak attack. Jingles is right there, so I will activate. We got ten foot reach. I have a bow. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's uh, the rogue is a uh, a fallen Azimir. And actually, we can do this. Ah, this. Okay. That'll be Silas's turn. Gromus. Uh, Gromus is looking around, like seeing that uh, his beefy people are all leaving him. And, uh, do I like to first do uh, try a perception check to see if there's more of these monsters around? Okay. House moving. Give me a perception check. In the tower, I see, right? Oh, yes. Um, you know there's snow on the ground. Okay, was that bad? <laughs> you know what your modifier is, right? What? Do you know what your modifier is for that? Yes. There you go. It was that oh, bad. Oh, okay, yeah. It was that bad. <laughs> that wasn't that one. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> um... I think I need to help my party out some way, uh, but I don't want to go up there because I'm not a close combat kind of guy, so I'm going to try and conjure up some animals. Alright, what are you getting up? Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go with uh, two beasts of challenge rating one. Okay, what are they? Wait, can I just pick myself? Yeah. God dang it, nobody ever calls me no. Hold on. Learn your class. Oh. Oh, oh, shots fired, man. That ain't fair. <laughs> Hold on, I got it right here. Yeah, two beasts. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I think in this uh, situation, uh, in this climate, two dire wolves. What the CR one? What the fuck? Dire. They might kneel to super tail, tail oh, fed and dire wolf though. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are you putting them? You can't see the Silas and Volker up there because it's too high up and it's snowing. Nah, I'm just uh, spawning them right next to me. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything else really. I'm just, I just, uh, just place them in the squares next to me. That'll be fine. Hi, you're my bodyguard now. It looks you. And I'll uh, look <laughs> at the other one, and I'll uh, I'll tell it. 
to go up there and help my companions kill whatever monster is up there. So that's number five. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Alright, uh, I'm going to look at you, Gromus, and I'm going to say, Gromus, tell, tell the wolf I can ride it. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll look at number five, and uh, he can ride you. It growls at Varus. <laughs> it growls like it's going to attack me, or growls like it's unhappy, but it'll fo it'll follow that. Yes. Okay. Varus will climb on top of the wolf. Okay. Um, and we'll hold an action to Eldritch Blast this unseen enemy that's attacking his party. Okay. And that'll be Varus's turn. <laughs> the raven's on my shoulder. Alright. Alright, so, Jingles. Hey, time to kick some more ass. Uh, the ranger... Monster hunter, uh, last night. Yeah. I'm also going to use, uh, use a key point to attempt stunning strike on it. So, <laughs> Last punch basically hits a uh, hits a key point a uh, key spot in the, in the creature and it just freezes up and he's like then he goes to town on it. Uh, the only homebrew thing I use is um, Volker's. Can you use Hunter. another key point for for let your blows? But for the most part, I don't really do uh, a lot of homebrew. I mean, I had my own stuff in here, so I guess, yeah, it is. Like, this whole thing right here is all homebrew. Um, a machine. couple of things coming up is all homebrew. But, yeah. Jimmy's first kick to Wolf and the Ding Dong, and then moved on to the other parts. Yeah, right. You see, every time he hits it, it just basically shudders. It doesn't move. Uh, it's it, it it's it's stunned. Kick its ass. <laughs> so, um, Clyde, as you were passing one of these snow mounds, it bursts open. Oh fuck! And one of these uh, one of a snow bane comes right up to you and touches you, or tries to touch you. And misses. I believe you said the unseen enemy that they were fighting. That enemy was unseen until right now. Sure, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, An elder uh, class will hopefully. It's not me. gonna. It's not gonna push it anywhere. But yeah. Yeah. It's still multiple beams on a held one, right? Yes. I'm just going to identify all of these right now. As they all pop out. Oh god. god. Alright, this one. Uh, it's gonna uh, it's gonna flip down off here. And it's gonna uh attack Volker. Fine, we have uh, Jingles the Mighty. <laughs> oh, good thing you succeeded, though. No, it isn't. 
Uh, Wolf 18, you told him to stand there and be his two bodyguards, so that's what I was going to do. Vers, uh, yeah. Hmm. Um, alright. Yes, it is. I will. Blood Hunter is homebrew. Bonus action. Uh, spiritual weapon. And summon that. Here next to a snow maiden underhanded. And that'll let's make an attack on. Yeah. Was that with uh that's Elders Blast? Oh, Elders. No yeah, I rolled the f ah okay, uh, uh You wanna take that off and I'll put the actual damage on? Thank you. Uh, and then as my action, I'm going to Eldritch Blast, the Maiden I Eldritch Blast for four. Say, Grimace, we should probably head up the, the pass so we're grouped up. Grimace will nod. <clears throat> Clyde, Clyde's going to <clears throat> turn around and look at this uh, snow maiden <laughs> and use his hunter's sense to find out what vulnerabilities and immunities and resistances and everything about her. All right. Uh, let me see here. And then I will, of course, be yelling to all my comrades and companions what to do with these ugly, ghostly beings. So you know that it is resistant to acid, fire, lightning, thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. It is immune to necrotic, poison, and cold. And immune to charmed, exhaustion, grapple, paralyzed, petrified, poison, prone, restraint, and unconscious. Wait, that went way too fast. Repeat that. <laughs> Basically, it's resistant to almost everything and immune to necrotic, poison, cold, and then a bunch of different conditions like charmed, exhausted, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, scrap. Does it have down. any vulnerabilities? Nope. Well, what are they? What, what are what? The snow maidens. Ghosts? What are they? Those are undead. Ah, okay. That I can work with. Do you share that information, good sir? Hell yeah, I yell, I'm yelling it all out as I'm figuring it out, staring her in the eyes. <laughs> and that is my action. And I think I'll just, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll stay there. Won't do the opportunity thing. Alright, the wolf, it starts to move. So let's see, estimate the grimace, so that's 10. And then it has to squeeze, because it is a large creature. Uh, for every 5 feet, it's an extra foot. Oh, where's the hell? I think it's for f every five feet, it's an extra foot. No, we we'll spend one extra foot for every foot, so each foot is ten feet. Okay, cool. That's ten, so ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Okay. Is it holding an attack or? But it is not because Grimace did not tell it to. You. Wait, what is it? What is what? What did I not tell it to do? I believe you told it to get up there and help your friends out. And and attack that monster or whatever that monster was that they were attacking. But would it not see this thing as a monster? It it so read what uh read what 
um, Conjure Animals says. Uh, it specifically does what you tell it to do, and this is what you told it to do, so that's what it does. Uh, but it can defend itself, but it's not going to attack. I don't think it will attack this maiden in front of it. Now, what I meant was I told it to move up there and help my friends kill whatever monster it is that they were fighting. Correct, and at the time, the monster that they were fighting was the creature up top. They hadn't had ah, the snow maidens ah. out here yet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. I didn't know that it would Thanks. Yes. Uh, silly giggle. It's going to come up to you, Grimace. And you put concentration on for the animals, right? Yes. Okay, good. Just in case it hits you. Oh, it does. This is bad. There is tuck and roll. Oh god, nat 20 on the con. Ah, nice. What the right. hell, what? He is stunned. Silas. Keep them away from Cor- Keep you away okay. from Corbin. Okay, I will continue to focus on the big boy here. Uh, just give me a second. Where is it? Just need to read up on this again. What were you doing the whole time before your turn? What was I? Oh, I just. Re <laughs> yeah. I'll burn my bonus action to activate my steady aim, giving myself advantage. And I will activate sneak attack again. And I will take a shot at the unidentified creature. Is it snowing where you're at, Silas? Oh, you gotta be. Oh, it's still hit, though. Uh, you didn't have to do that for advantage. It's stunned. You would have got advantage no matter what. Oh, well, whatever. I wasn't going to move from there. How long does the stun last? The end of my next turn. Ooh, it's partially resisted. Uh, yeah, that'll be me. Wait, why are you doing bludgeoning damage with arrows? It's because uh, Silas purposely dulls them because he's he's hesitant to kill things, essentially. <laughs> so he so he's dumb. <laughs> oh, I not pierce? I was like, huh? Shouldn't they pierce? Oh, okay. Clyde, this one comes and touches you. Oh, poor Clyde's getting manhandled. Death by Snoo Snoo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, there's no, no, way to go. there's no bird in this party. <laughs> uh, one and two Grimace, three and four the wolf. Oh god. Uh, Grimace is. No, stay away from me, I'll try and oh batter god. <laughs> Oh god. Party healer going down, guys. Grimace. Ah, uh, disengage, please. <laughs> like, ah, you crazy women, stay away from me. <laughs> or wait, I'm dead, sorry, but they're women anyway. Yes. And I'll step over here after doing the disengage with my action. Oh, ooh. Why do they feel so frosty? And uh, I'll hop on to my dire wolf. If, uh, is that like a free interaction? Uh, Is mounting, mounting the wolf? I don't, let me double check. I think that's movement, right? Mounting it. I think it's half movement, but I will double check. Okay. Once during your move, you can mount a creature that is within five feet of you, or dismount. Doing so costs an amount of movement equal to half your speed. Okay, so, uh, I will mount it, uh, having used up a little and I'll uh, tell my wolf, kill these damn stupid women. Sorry, <laughs> if that sounds a bit over sexist, uh, but he doesn't know what else to call them right now. And uh, yeah, I think that is his turn. God, I hope 
they get through this so we can do the one thing. Oh, there's something that I want to do so bad. Uh, stunning. Floats down. I'm just going to touch Silas. Okay, uh, do I, for Uncanny Dodge, do I have to decide to use that before the attack, or do I can just after? It's a reaction. Okay, so I... You can wait. Uh, okay. Okay, I will use Uncanny Dodge then. Poker. Um, I will use my bonus action to uh, enter the hybrid transformation. Mm -hmm. He's getting mad. He's getting mad, of course. Uh, he will uh, t turn into a, a monster. And, uh, you know, then he is going to take the attack of opportunity by moving here. Get that onto you. Turned into a monster. Turned into my mother in law. Ah. Jesus. Okay. And then I will attack him twice. Great damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. That's great. And great damage. Vulgar, <laughs> stop petting the damn thing and kill it! So this, this one will move up. Hold on, yeah. I'm... Uh, as part of my last turn, I forgot to say that I would yell at this one to come back and defend its master. Because ah. you did I. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Oh, where was it? Right there. 5, 10, 15, 20. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And where the hell did Ferris go? On top of it, still somewhere. There it goes. There I am. All right, uh, and then, so it's not squeezing, so it will attack Silly Giggle. Five. Try and snap his jaws at this uh, lady's face, I suppose. I mean to prone, right? Yep. All right. Uh, this one goes after Clyde again. Bite attack that just hit that uh, silly giggle thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that if the creature, is a, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on the DC 13 stack save. Correct, or be max prone. So with that, I didn't do it because it's immune to prone, which Clyde told you it was immune to prone. Oh, so there, there is no point in, in doing that. Not that ghost, they don't have legs. <laughs> yeah, but yes, you are correct though. Uh, or, uh, Sorry, I, I kind of missed that, sorry. No worries. Bears. With why I am, am I considered like in melee of the silly giggle maiden? Mmm, give me a percent of dice. You want a high roll. Okay. So we'll find out. <laughs> Over 50, no, under 50, no. yes. So yeah, you were with the melee of it. Oh. Oh, um, dang. Okay, so bonus action, my scythe will move into here and attack the silly giggle one. And then as my action, I'll 
Eldritch Blast it. Hopefully the first one hits and pushes it back. It did. Yay. So then the next one's just regular. Uh, and then Varus okay could I move into this space or is that like too squished on the wall uh yeah that'd be too squished against the wall okay then Varus will stay on the back of the die off and he'll say you're doing good that's what he'll say to the <laughs> all right I'll say it in Sylvan though I don't know if that's of any help it is not Uh, we'll do one and two wolf, three, four grubbus. Wolf. Silas. Is the dire wolf still feature? Uh, sun. Or not the dire wolf, but the wolf creature. Yeah. Yes. It is till the end of my next turn. Okay, I will step up there. I will sneak attack with my bow. Yeah, I have point blank, just so you know. Shoot him in the eye while he can't move. <laughs> So, uh, I'm telling my direwolves, uh, protect me and Varus, kill, kill the, 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 whatever these ghosts are, or ladies are, whatever one is nearest. And, uh, seeing that he's a bit injured, just checking on him, uh, no, um, I think I forgot to pick up pebbles, damn it. Snowballs! <laughs> Ice balls! Uh, yeah, can I, uh. No, I don't think I'd reach the ground from where I'm sitting on top of the dire wolf. No, sir. <laughs> I think that's a little bit <laughs> high up. Uh, for now, I'll just, uh, use, uh, a healing word on myself. Touching them, safe. I like you. Of course they're hitting on you. <laughs> and he's gonna run along the back of the uh, the wolf thing and just like punch it at various uh, parts of its spine. Jingles being a real MVP. And I'll blow another key point for flare blows. This one, come in and 
Hey, let's go ahead and touch Volker. Oh, no. Oh, it's not going to touch him. <laughs> Silly giggle. Hmm. We'll do one, two, wolf five, three and four wolves, 18. Five and six fair, seven and eight grimace. Wolf, this one, wolf 18. It's gonna float over here. Okay. I will um, use my uh, bonus action to apply uh, to use a hemocraft die to apply the right of the frame thing. Really doing it? Okay. And so then I will attack the uh, unidentified creature twice with my claws. Fire damage. Oh yeah, poison. Okay. Clyde. Clyde's going to um, disengage and go running down the hill with his short little <laughs> halfling legs, waving his hands in the air, saying, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they're they're me! Oh my god! Hopefully he doesn't trip and roll. <laughs> Give me a deck save. Why not? You're running down this hill. You trip and fall and roll into a big snowball. <laughs> and pitch a pack to ice and then break the That's the lower part for my uh. ass. You're good. You get down as far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> He's got good dexterity. And um, disengages action movement. Um, yeah, this is all he can do. All right. So this one. Eh, let's go look right at Jingles. Kind of focusing on him. I wonder why. Shouldn't have hit him in the nuts, Jingles. <laughs> like a sea it, bag. Does it bite you? And then it's going to smack you with its tail. You should grapple that tail and hang on for life. Ooh, I see that. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Pretty sure oops. life is not going to be part of my problem for a while. In a while. If you're lucky for Volker, T Rex or Boom or Shot. Okay, so Volker it is. Alright, so Gawky. Eh, hmm, I wonder who it's gonna go after. She reaches out and tries to touch you again, Clyde. When she thinks of you, she touches herself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Let's see, I uh, must succeed on a DC yeah, 10 good. con save, or its hit point maximum is reduced by amount equal to the damage taken. So you took 11, so your HP max would go down by 11. Oh, God. Yeah. That's some nasty stuff you're tossing at us. Oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you're what? So make a note that you're at 52, and then we can change that to. Oh wait, isn't there a way with temp HP to like minus 11 or some shit like that? I know, I know Drake does it in his game. You know what I'm talking about, Caesar? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so make a note that you're at 52. We'll just change it to 41. 
Uh, and let's see, reach out until you finish, until you do something. Okay, cool. The stunning. Um, let's go and look at Volker. And I'm just going to touch him. Uh oh. Touch, 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 touch me. Don't touch the no-no spot. Magic damage too, so I don't get to half it. Nope. But you succeeded on that kind of save. All right. Um, tap around for Okay, so really quick. Um, IRL Steve uh, bought Volker a test the luck. Oh, nice. So Molly Marsh. <laughs> I'll roll. I will. Uh, no, I will roll a d20 actually. Uh -oh. Roll it then, roll it then. Uh, as soon as I can find the bloody thing, where the hell did it go? Oops. Hang on a second. It would be so good if you if he rolls a ten for you. Uh, we'll see. Where the hell? Uh, it will be good if they roll a fireball for us. <laughs> All right. So just to remember, remind people, I will roll a d twenty on a roll. The PC of his choice, which was Volker, has a fireball spell center on him. On a ten, he has polymorph cast on him, and on a twenty, I will take a shot at a fireball. So let's see what happens. Uh, 17. Nothing. Aww. Aww. Alright. So, Corrupt Chortle. Oh, Clyde. <laughs> Sorry. Miss, miss, miss. Oh. No. Clyde's gone. Clyde. No, he's not. Oh, wow. Well, ow, well, ow. well, let's find out. He might actually be gone. Who knows? He survived. Nope, he's still alive. Holy cow. <laughs> Tough little gnome. He's like, shit, 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 shit. Ow, 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 ow. And this one moves here. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, it's just gonna return the favor. Cute one, the stunning one, sorry, is going to go after Volker again. She likes you, Volker. I know, right? Thank God. <laughs> that kind of year. Scarred Volker. As Volker is transformed, so he's basically made himself the biggest target. Six points, so your total is reduced by six. Okay. I've got my max HP written down. All right, which is what sixty-four or sixty-five? Sixty-five. Right. Yeah. Reduced by six, so you are fifty-nine. Uh, giggle. We'll return the favor to the wolf. Too, Wait, he's too far up. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, but I do see that Clyde is in trouble, right? See. All right. So. You I'm... can hear his girlish screams as well. <laughs> shit! 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 <laughs> All right. So, on the side of the life, I forget.
Why is wood on itself? That on. Uh, you don't have it on yourself. No, it doesn't need to be on myself. I well, it, yes, it does, because you're the one who's doing the healing. It, it, needs, it needs to be targeted onto yourself. What? Are you yes. sure? No, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure. <laughs> so change it back to self and put it onto yourself. Then do the healing. And Damn. we'll tar target who you need to do and then do the healing. Yeah, I got you. Clyde, you're my best friend. Or one of my best friends. So he wants you to stay alive. So you're going to get a second wound. Max roll, max roll, max roll. <laughs> uh, cure wounds, isn't that a touch spell? Wait, oh crap, you're... <laughs> it's gonna become a second level. Where is that other damn thing? I swear to God, I have to push it. Come on, Steve. Downfall of multi -classing. Come on, Steve. I mean, Grimace. <laughs> a bonus action. Uh, as my action I want to run something by you before you open. I have a cantrip called Venom Strike. Could I instead of pebbles use ball bearings to toss at these things? Oops. Uh, hang on. Venom Strike. Venom Strike. Potions. Cantrip. Where the hell is Venom Strike at? Venomous Strike. Da -da -da. The action needs to guess a spell. Touch. Oh, does it have a? Uh, does the ball bearings have like a range to like throw? Or, well, it'd just be an improvised weapon, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't care. Okay, then, so I will use that then. Uh, the rule on an improvised weapon is the same on light and on arc strike, right? Yeah. Oh, it actually hits. So you see, uh, Grumma's actually trying to throw ball bearings at this, uh, this ghost. And, uh, it, instead of actually doing bludgeoning damage, I suppose it does poison damage. Okay. But I don't see, oh, down. <laughs> God dang it. Clyde told you it was immune to poison. Yeah, so he'll just toss three of these things at it, like, Alright, you are, get it. Uh, and, then <laughs> and he's like, huh? What happened? Oh, yeah, resist poison. Dang it. Alright. Well, Quit that's... smoking that ganja! Yeah, sorry, sorry. It kills the brain cells! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jingles, uh, he had to reboot his computer, but he got a healing potion from Caesar Cheater in chat, so Caesar, if you want to drop that on him. All right, let me find it. And then we'll skip him until he gets back. Potions, potion of healing. Jingles. Cool. And then once he gets back, then we'll go back up to him. Uh, Gawky, uh, it's going to touch Clyde. No! Like, shit, 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 shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> He's still alive because of the healing. 
Oh no! Oh god. Uh, series so by another seven. Poor Clyde. As soon as I can find him, there he is. Uh, what was that? 30, 34, yeah. Clyde. Clyde is going to <clears throat> disengage again and take <laughs> off running. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Clyde throws up, couldn't do anything. That's 15. 25 to there. <laughs> okay. Ow, 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 ow! Shit, 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 shit. Is it my turn or did you are, pass me? Are you back in? I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. You can go back up to uh, Jingles. Oh, well, is Jingles back in? Like, has his character and all that stuff? I'm trying to load. It's it's taking a while to to load. All right, so we'll go down to Volker, and then we'll go back up to you once you get in. Or uh, I can tell you. Or I can tell you uh, what I'm gonna do. I'll just have you do it. Um, Volker, you got a greater healing from Caesar Cheer and Jet. Oh, thank you, Caesar. But you know what that means, still. But you're still under half. Yes, I know. Uh, I will roll a d6. A 1, 2 is Silas. 3, 4, stunning. Uh, a d8. Uh, uh, 5 and 6 card. 7 and 8, unidentified creature. Aww. Okay. Uh, I will uh, launch all three attacks that I have at I just want you to roll onto your friend. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> I know. Hey, Ralph. Uh, I will um, apply the brand of castigation as a free action. Which means I can. Sharing his current. Crack it. And every time it deals damage. It will take damage from me. You do sharing his current, please. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, let me just drag that on here. Thank you. And see that attack. Ah, uh, you hit him. But you dropped a 20. Sad. Yeah. And one last bonus attack. And miss. Silas. Okay. I will bonus action steady aim. Uh, Creature you can see within five feet of you. Oh, forget to roll that with advantage. Uh, Let's roll it to I'll... 20. Okay. okay. Ooh, leg. And that'll be it. Alright, this guy. Uh, Jingles, right. you back in? Yeah, I'm on the table. I'm just waiting for my character to pop. See, he's going to Loading attack. Loading slow as crap for some reason. You have a potato. No, I have a fairly decent one. Yeah, you're good, Grandma. We're gonna do it here in a second. Uh, Jingle, all right. Well, Jingles, what would you do? What would he do? I'm back on now. I finally was able to grab the kid. You can. I'm clicking and I'm waiting for it to react. <laughs> there, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna punch it and use the key point to try to stun it again. 
Is the creature already dead, the big wolf? No. Oh, come on, it's quite being slaggy. Stupid thing. I don't know why it's lagging like crazy now. Yeah, uh, just let's tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, go ahead and just roll a punch and then uh, roll, hit a key point and t attempt to stunning strike it. So, unarm strike and then key point and strike. If he hits, he spends a key point to do the stunning thing. Alright, hits. See damage. Key point, stunning strike. Fails. Go ahead. Ingles drop. really is an MVP. Uh, and then what, what do you Now what do you do? Yeah, drop it. I, I can do it now. I got the, my sheet open. I can use it. Okay. And of course, it froze again. God damn it. All right, what are you going to do next? Did you get the stunning effect on it? Yep, sure did. Okay, I will use a uh, punch it again. Okay, hit, damage. Yep. Yep. Huh? Uh, use another key point and flurry blows with punches two more times. Alright, and you kill it. Then I'll risk and run along its body. Do, do I have an attack left or no? Okay, I will just run along the body onto the that log that goes across but above everyone, and then I'll end my turn. All right, Ferris. Got a bunch of errors when he killed it. So did I. Uh, am I in melee of any of these guys? No. Okay. Uh. Death indicator extension. Which one's looking the most injured? They're ghosts. They do not look injured. Uh, okay, uh, action, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast, uh, I got a piece over here, the so Snowy Maiden, the Corrupt one well. next to me. Uh, let's see, it's too bad. Hopefully that's my bad luck for the day gone. Uh, as my bonus action, <laughs> Spiritual Weapon will attack, uh, the underhanded kill. Much better. We haven't had a crit yet. I think we have. You've had a couple. <laughs> Alright, that is top of the round. Uh, we're going to take a 10 minute break because I got to pee. I don't know about you guys, but I got to pee. I got to yep. pee as well. So, 255, yeah. we'll be back. <laughs> yeah, Jingle's uh, crazy. So, one was punching. Uh, what? Yeah, two fifty-five. Oh, yeah, that's, that's two forty-four right now. Uh, so stream, two stream. We'll be back here, right here in ten minutes. <laughs> Don't go away. If you do, please come back. Uh, see you shortly. <laughs> oh, I got a piece of bed.
mechanics. And here we go. All right, here we go. And we're back. Hello. We're in the middle of combat, up in the mountains, and uh, Koba just killed a big dire wolf thing with a scorpion tail, which is weird. But uh, Scott doesn't look too good for Silas either, and and uh, Volker. You mean Jingles did that? Okay. Yeah, Jingles did that. Jingles did will... the same thing. <laughs> I guess I will, Silas will turn around and use his bonus action to steady his aim, sneak attack, and he will take a shot at the stunning. Uh oh, we froze up. Hold on. Did we freeze up? Maybe? No, there we go. We're back! Yep. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. And, uh, all we get for now. Alright, so, um, uh, hmm. Yeah, she's going to attack Volker. She succeeded on that. <laughs> this one. Hmm. One and two. Wolf, five. Three and four, wolf, 18. Five and six, Ferris. Or, yeah, no. Yeah, five and six, Ferris, seven, eight, Grimace. Wolf, 18. That uh, thing sitting on this dire wolf might not be the best of ideas, <laughs> so he's gonna try so and slide off on the backside. Uh, but before I do that, what I've noticed Clyde running by, uh, behind the backside of my wolf. Oh, yeah. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> right, he, like, he kept running, saying shit, 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 shit. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try and slide off, and I'd probably see him standing there uh, so I would try and slide off towards that side if that's okay all right just half movement okay and uh, <clears throat> well uh, both Clyde and my wolf are getting their asses kicked uh, so I'm uh, gonna look at Clyde and I'm gonna tell him try and kill this one down here and I'll point at silly giggle that one and I will uh, now uh, because he's standing next to me do a second level cure wound on him Shit. <laughs> what the hell? That's no, awesome. That's, That's oh, well. awesome. At least he still got 11 hit points back from that. <laughs> and uh, then I will bonus action uh, first level. Uh, what's it called? What's that damn thing called again? Oh, you like spirit? Uh, no. Uh, the other one that I just used, oh god, uh... Venom Strike? No, uh, Healing Word. I uh, can't, can't do two spells. Oh, fuck, you're right. That, then uh, I, c I can still use a cantrip, right? Nope, uh, as long as it's the bonus action. Bonus action cantrip, yeah. Bonus action cantrip, yeah, that's what I meant. We'll leave that one. Uh, 
shit on the sheet. Oh, never mind that. Oh wait, that is a bonus action. Okay, so I would like to use magic stone on tree, uh, what do you call them? Tree ball berries. Is that okay with you, uh, Giorgio? I shared it in the chat with you. Magic stone. Hang on a second. It's basically the same thing as pebbles. <laughs> uh, attach one to three pebbles. It specifically says pebbles. Because ah, it's making it. them into a stone. No, that means I can't use it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, I, I kind of messed up with the, the spell switching out because I basically don't have almost any offensive mm -hmm. cap trips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I think that'll be my turn for now. Okay. I guess it fits because druids also can't wear metal armor, right? So it, it would make sense yep. that they couldn't use metal. Weapons. Technically, it's not a uh, thing in 5th edition, oh, but okay. I That's always cool. follow it anyway. Jingles, you're up. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, leap forward and hand and land at Volker's head and handstand on it, and I'm going to kick out at each of these ghosts. So. Okay. You got a healing potion, too. Yeah, yeah, you did. And keep in mind, you cannot end your turn in his space. Can I? I have to. I'm going to roll a wisdom save for reasons that uh, Joshua likely knows about. Why yes. Not? Oh, you're lucky. Yes, you are. Uh, someone want to drop the healing potion onto Jingles? Don't worry, I I'll won't do end my. Don't worry, I won't end my turn on him. What the healing potion on the Jingles? What? Yeah, Caesar cheater in chat bought it for him. Uh -huh. Oh shit, Clyde's 15k now. What the hell? Uh huh. Why? That was so funny. <laughs> uh, because he kept getting used every single game and got it wore the novelty off. You should do a holiday special where it gets knocked off to like all the way down to 500 points or something. <laughs> And then I'll and then I'll use my last key point, do another switch switch kick to kick the uh, then once again. I'm blue, Bobby, bum bum, ba da 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 da. Have they not killed any of these ghosts yet? Jesus. Like there, so many of them are like so close to death that they haven't touched. They haven't killed him yet. Like what the hell? <laughs> and then I'll leap back up on. Uh, I'll leap down next to the, uh, the the one. Which one? Okay, and so the stunning will. Try and touch you. Oh, Jingles, you finally got magic attacks. Save. Ooh, good for you. Alright, anything else, Jingles? Alright, stunning. Hmm. I think we're gonna go, uh,. Yeah, I think we're going to attack Volker. Those 24 rolls. Oh. Mr. 22 AC. <laughs> uh, silly Giggle. I'm going to come up here and attack Grimus. Uh, stay away from me, woman. Don't worry, nothing can kill a grimace. Don't jinx it. 
Oh no, and the wolves go away. No! And Varus falls right on his butt. This damn monkey jinxed it. It's what I do. Ah, so at least I saved that. There's Richard there. Corrupt one. Corrupt chortle. Ah, she's gonna float down and touch Ferris. Got a greater healing. Mm. Oh, he did from uh, Cheater and Chat again. That's okay, this should be about out. Mm. Okay. I'm going to attack the. Um, the which one did attack me last time again? <laughs> they both did. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to attack the uh, discard one. action there we go let me see what's Clyde gonna do cheater in the chat I'm going to target Silly Giggle. He's going to bonus action Hunter's Mark. <laughs> it's funny because it has two HP left. I don't know how these codes Five work HP. now. Five HP. Hunter's Mark, but if target, so that goes on me. That goes on me. And then the hunter's mark goes on silly giggle, I guess. Yeah, I think that's how it works. And then he's gonna shoot that bitch. <laughs> Rude. With his crossbow. Oh yeah. Nice. What a waste. <laughs> Such a waste. <laughs> oh, oh, you love it, eh, Giorgio. <laughs> I love it because I had five HP left. I and then it. he's going to target this other one <sighs> and shoot her with his crossbow. <laughs> And then oh, I'm not Clyde is you. going to retreat 25. Moving the whole map. Hold on. 15, 20. So, like, right there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Down the trail. I'm too lazy to add more. Try to get some distance here. Okay. Gawky. Hmm. Oh, let's see, one and two jingles, and then three and four will go to Varus. Let's see. Jingles is going to float up to him. I fear no ghost. Well, you should. <laughs> As it reaches behind and touches you. Really, trip once. Oh, so lovely. Welcome yeah. to our world. Yeah. Oh. So your HP is reduced by three. 
Oh, and he'd go down. Uh, so let's see. Current is at 47. Thank you, Koba, for putting that in there. 44. Wait, why does he go down? I don't get it. Why am I getting all these errors, by the way? I don't know. Uh, he's going down because he failed his con save, so his HP is reduced, and that reduces him below zero. Yeah, it's stuck oh. in life. Update the death indicator. Um, yeah. yeah. Extension, that's what it is. Yeah. Which I can't do that while you guys are on the table. Uh, Ferris. Um, hmm. Ferris will... Step five feet this way. Oops. And then uh, attempt to Eldritch Blast this one in front of him back. Ten feet. Well, fighting two with it. Oh, that should be with disadvantage anyway. How long I put that on in there? Why it doesn't roll that automatically, but... Oh, missing. Um... He has no idea. Uh, bonus action. He spiritual no weapon fly over here. And he has no idea what's going on. Try not to disturb the underhanded giggle one. <laughs> Maybe it's too focused on its friend that just died. Cur it is currently focused. It is currently not focused on you. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's what Paris like. Okay, well, <laughs> Paris' luck isn't getting much better, so I guess he's stuck here. Uh, Jingles, you got a healing potion from Dan the Man, Cheater and Chats. I thought you couldn't take those while you're unconscious. Uh, if they're bought for you, then yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, there, if there's something bought from you, then it goes off automatically. So someone drop it on to him, please. I got it. Okay, and you're back alive. Screeching monkey sound. <laughs> I'll pop back up. F spin and uh, attack the one that just knocked me down. Same death. <laughs> it's funny, like almost all these are all dead, and then they go with the one that has full HP. Oh, Jesus. All these one damages. <laughs> I think Ingorgio's got the dice break. I wish. He's got. You get that minimum damage uh, effect, uh, the uh, extension, don't you? I wish. I have, uh, I'm not wearing my lucky shirt, that's why. Okay, so this is again going to bonus action, steady aim. Use. Where's. Where's. That's the. And he is gonna go for the stunning once more. Uh, shoot him with advantage. <laughs> and. And he will use one of his whales from the grave. Let's see if this will actually do anything. I think that's just an automatic hit. It's, uh. 2d6, half of my sneak attack damage to Snow Maiden the Scarred. Yeah, resisted. God damn it. Okay, uh, that'll be all for me. Alright, Gaki, uh, once again, we'll touch Jingles. Again, he goes down. Uh, bam. Well, at least he didn't fail his concept. 
Uh, stunning. Uh, can I Volker? Twenty-two well. AC gang. Volker as well. <laughs> Twenty-two Instagram. No. He, he, remi he reminds me of uh, of SpongeBob. <laughs> you needed to play Clerk of the uh -oh. Forge that you would have had more AC by now. Yeah, Grammas. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Grammas will look at Clyde running away and hear. Monkey sounds of Look how much like fighting, how, how low they are. Getting back up and then dying again. I'm like, what the hell is going up uh, I'm on uh, up there? We're so um, close to die, y'all. As it's of so right funny. now, because he is still. I, do, I assume I can't see Silas. Can I? Negative. But do I see the snow mating stunning floating up there? Mmm, give me a perception. Because it's snowing and it's high up and all that crap. Tower. No, you don't see her. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back to my old trusted offensive weapon called Moonbeam. Okay. I'd like to drop it right down there on that woman, dang it. Uh, Alright. Uh, what level is this? Yeah. Yeah, I'll use it as a spell. Mark that one. Oh wait, that does it automatically. Nice. Just give yourself that concentration. Yeah, and I need to roll a con save on her. Wait, it says when she first enters the spell area. That's on the side of its 10. Oh, okay. Never mind that. Do I need to put that one? Oh wait, not too Clyde, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Clyde. Can I, can you take that off of my can't see the... Yeah, I got you. Why you can't to... I untarget him? There you go. Oh, weird, okay. Dang it, all right, that should be it. No, you don't want that on no, yourself. You don't want that on yourself, that goes on to the enemy. It's you just gotta set the DC on it as well. Yeah. You gotta set the DC, you just have it as two. Yeah, I, 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 I got it. Put it onto her. What the heck? It'll automatically do the save and stuff on yeah. that end. So put it onto her. I can't, because uh, it's that, I can't select her token. There, there. you go. Okay. And the DC is 16, so let's corrupt chortle. Oh wait, what was the one? Underhanded giggle. Okay, DC is 16. Okay. I think that was my turn. Yep. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> okay. Right next to Clyde. <laughs> Right next to Clyde, like, hey Clyde, what's up? Hey Grumas, we're the smart ones! Think so. I don't want to die. And then, uh, I'll run. Okay. First of all, again, try an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> the Snow Maiden. Pushing it back 10 feet. Oh, killing it even. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, <laughs> can my other blast hit something else or no? Yes. Since it was, okay. No. Uh, is it the, the giggles one is the one in the moonbeam, right? Yes. Um, oh. Double check, I think so though. Uh, bu 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 yeah, giggles. Yeah, so I'll find another blast. If it hits, I'm not moving it. And then 
bonus action. A spiritual weapon will go in and I guess get its attention. Actually, it'll. Oh, why is that? That's like both of them. Um, whack it. Can you whack it whilst inside underneath? It's, it's gonna move. Why, why am I, I attached to it? I, I don't understand. I don't know. It's gonna move over here, so it, and then attack it so that I'm not, you know, in its line of sight still. That wasn't targeted, but that, that would hit, right? Yeah. Huh? Killing it. I'll say, Gomez, I got it, come back! Oh, we need wait. to get, we need to get the ones up on top. Um. Would I be able to make a perception check now to see if I can see the ones up there? You're not going to be able to see the ones up there. Where you're at right now, you can't see them. Don't you have your raven to do that for you? Well, I don't want it to leave my shoulder. Um, okay, I'll start moving like this way then. Uh, Gromus, what squares is your moonbeam actually in? Uh, the, the justice center one. Well, it would be in four of them. It's ten foot diameter, right? So probably like that. Yeah. Yeah, because he moved his spiritual weapon up there, so let's hypothetically say that would be it. My spiritual weapon can go into it, that doesn't matter. Um, uh, I, I assume I can't get around this moonbeam. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll stand right here. <laughs> Clyde. Alright, <clears throat> since that, uh, Thing is gone. Clyde's gonna come running back. Twenty-five to there, and then what happened to it? Where'd it go? Twenty-five to there. And that's Clyde's turn. Oh. I will roll a wisdom save to see if I don't go nuts. Whoa, whoa, damn it. Okay. Uh, there's only one snow maiden left alive, right? Uh, you got all these in front of you. There's three. Yeah, there's, there's just three. three left alive, okay. I will use my action to pick up uh, jingles. Toss them over the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, toss some 50 right feet down. Uh, toss some 50 feet down. down I'm waiting for this moment to get rid of you, Jenkins. <laughs> I, I will uh, um, I throw him towards Clyde. Uh, it, just, just keep it. Air. Keep in mind, it is a 50 foot drop. I gotta catch him? <laughs> Do it. Just <laughs> keep in mind, D6, D6 it's a. For 10 feet, yeah. Jingles. Does Jingles. the monk produce full damage when they're unconscious? Yeah, he'd take he, he'd take death saves and oh, death fails and then d6 for each ten feet. So yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe this is a bad idea. No, do it, do it, do it. Okay, you're, I will. You already throw said you're doing it. Do it. Oh, it should only be one death save, right? For damage. <laughs> yeah, but he's still gonna. He's still gonna take the damage. So if it over, <laughs> I'm his... going to jump off myself. I'm going to do a long jump. Jumping down 50 feet. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. right next to Clyde. Are you going to hold Jingles while you jump? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that uh, I, I, I take the full damage and he One, lands on top of me. 10, 20, 30, 40. Alright, so you jump down, taking 14 points of damage. And you go unconscious. Okay. And with that, I end my turn. Yeah, the, uh, Roma should be able to see me now, right? Quick question. And did he, Clyde? Did, oh, did sorry, he, you go. No, I had a quick question. Did he? Did you? Uh, did you? Uh, did you use that effect, uh, ability to get out of combat without taking attack of opportunities? Uh, no, actually. Oh, you're but, gonna get take attack attack of opportunities. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so one, two, three. All right. Well, fine. Let's see. But you're at fifty-nine. So let's see. Let's put you there first. Let's do this. Let's do our 54. Uh, let's do three ups. Do, do, do. 
one. On the bright side, they might accidentally hit me, maybe. <laughs> two. Maybe you'll live. Uh, 22 AC, three. gang. Come on, one more. Cool. Uh, so you still jump down, you still take the damage, you're still unconscious. And uh, Clyde, as you see Volker drop down next to you and uh, turn back into a uh, human being, you noticed uh, gleaming on his belt are three red vials. Healing potions. <laughs> uh, I you can't cheat like that, come on. I have them in my inventory on my belt slot. I think, don't we all have healing potions? We swear out, right? Yeah, yeah you I, I was there. if you put a DC on it, I'll roll perception. I'm getting a lot of LR health. Yeah, so am I. So am I. Did you? Uh, okay. Sorry, I had a quick question. Did he land face first or on his back? Because no, I, I was to... just carrying. Just imagine this. I was carrying Jingles on my shoulder. I jumped off and landed on my feet, and I just probably uh, crash landed hard with Jingles on top of me. You you broke your ankles and your knees. Yeah. Man. But you're yeah. in your nice, soft, fleshy vampire form, right? Your, yeah, your, 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 shins, a your shins are sticking out like Chinese pork chops right now. <laughs> Anyways. We're a train wreck of people. Poor Silas, all by himself now. <laughs> oh god. Booker, I need a death save from you, please. Uh, those would be in the tower. No one. Jingles also need a death save from you in the tower, please. Right view. Oh, sorry, I just clicked the button. You just drag it. Yeah, yeah okay. you just drag it. Thank you. Grumus. Grumus is gonna come running in. That's an aura. Uh, 30 feet. So I'm gonna cast a third level spell called Aura of Vitality. Sharing is caring. Dang it. There you go. That is not sharing is caring. That, no. that is sharing is caring. Wait, how do you do that? Uh, little chat box. Little chat box. Wait, where? In the spell? Upper left hand yeah. corner. Yeah, right next to the little dragon head. Ah. Okay. It also ah. radi it also radiates from you, so that's useless on us. Well, so you're, you're right. So, range. So you're gonna drop the concentration on the moonbeam? <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it radiates from me, right? That's that's not. I can easily get. Yeah, I can get all of you. So you're you're, you're dropping con on Moonbeam, then yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I need to Waste all your spell I, slots. I, I need to heal. <laughs> I'm the healer. I'm not supposed to be doing that much damage. You need a healer, not a potato peeler. Yeah, exactly. Where is the aura uh, here? So I'll put that on myself, and now I can use my bonus action. One of them. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I would like your ruling on if this stacks with. Yes. Uh, yes. Because it is a healing spell. And it's a cleric spell, I think, yeah? Yep. No, it's a, oh, it's uh, not a cleric three. spell. I don't think. Well, let me double check. Yeah, let me, let me double check. I don't think so, though. Da, da, da. Uh. Oops, Disciple of Life. Let me double check. Give me a second. Yeah. No, it just says a healing spell, so yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, then I'll turn that on. Uh, and then the first. Uh, uh, Jingles is down the longest, so I don't know that, so I will just go with Eagle 4. 1 and 2 is Jingles, 3 and 4 Poker. So I heal Volker first. 
goddamn ones. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's all I Alright, that was my turn. Oh, alright. Poor Silas. Oh no. Um, I'm kidding, dodge that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, what do I yes. lower my. 11. Uh, wait a minute. Equal to the damage taken. So you took 23, but you resisted. Twelve of it. Okay, so damage taken was eleven. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me just make a note of my actual hit points. Which is thirty-five. Got twenty-four now. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's your turn. Okay. Okay, I will take the disengage action. Uh, these are incorporeal, right? Could I run through them? Mm. Mm. Hang on. Da, da, da. It will be difficult to train. Okay. Uh, I will. That's 10, 15. That's half my movement there. Uh, this is on a, like a downward slope, right? Yes. Yes. Is it slippery? Uh, no. Because the snow's kind of packed in right now from the other ones. Ah, crap. I was hoping to, like. Maybe let me do an acrobatics check to get double movement if I slide no, down. No, that's not how that works. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, then I will... 15. Then I will action dash. And I'll end my turn there. Clyde. <laughs> Clyde sees uh, Man. Silas running down the hill. He said, Oh shit, they're coming! They're coming! And he's gonna take off backwards. Go. Don't backwards. you run, you Come coward! On. Get back Come here! On. Come on! <laughs> Going back towards shoot Drummond. you in the ass! And yeah. I still can't see that Damn far off. Oh, you guys are here, right? No, sir, you could not. Um, Clyde's going to bonus action um, in snaring strike and then hold his action in case one of them comes down that hill within range. So that would be right. the end of Clyde's turn. And I'll mark off the spell okay, slot. 15, uh, hold on. Before, before Clyde runs in that direction, can I actually right. tell him to run in the other direction? Five. The other direction, would he pay attention to that? The other way, I mean. I mean, would he actually pay attention to that? I don't know. Uh, Clyde's trying to get away from him. Yeah. Okay. Now, can I see it from there? Going, looking up that, that hill? <clears throat> Give me a, 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 do a perception of disadvantage. Again, because of the snow. And you can, you can kind of see Silas, but let's see. No. I, didn't, I clicked disadvantage. It didn't roll with it? Because uh, you have advantage on from something. I don't know. Hmm. All right. But no, you couldn't see him. He'll continue to hold his action then. Oh. There's... Uh, okay, can I see uh, the, the scarred snow maiden from here? 
Yes. It's like not okay. Fire off two Eldritch blasts at it. I try and push it back. Obviously not very far, but Ooh. Oh! Oh, what nice oh. damage! Oh. Amazing damage. Ah, uh, wait, no, before you do that one, because you wouldn't oh, be able sorry. to see it then. But, yeah, whatever. Well, I wouldn't have pushed on the first, first one. Nah, you said you wouldn't have pushed back far enough. So, come on. But you killed it anyways. Alright, uh, and bonus action. Uh, these snowmans, they've been like going down the path, right? Have, or have any of them like just floated off any of the ledges? Yes. Uh, Alright then. Spiritual weapon will move to here. And not attack anyone. Oh, hold on. Uh, Barris will also move up with Gromus. Speaking of. So this one, go ahead, Clyde. You can see this one. It comes all the way down. Okay. So let me make sure I got all my targets cleared. Target that one, and I will shoot it. Oh, and it dodged. <laughs> all right. And that was fifty, and then it will. Right there. <laughs> At the top, of, I'm gonna use my think fast uh, bronze fat to put myself at the top of the initiative. Uh, okay. So just uh, take that, yeah, burn that for me if you want, and Silas will go to here and he'll put a hand on Jingles. Uh, one second. What was he doing? He's touching jingles. <laughs> he got really quiet. Oh, that thing? Silas, that thing? Yes, that thing. Oh, okay, go for it. Okay, I think you just have to give it to him. Okay. Six, three. And as much more than that, I was right there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then I will step over Jingles. That'd be 30. That'd be 25. I'd... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm bonus action dashing. And I will... What was I at there? 35. I will move down to there, and that'll be my turn. Uh, do hang on. Whisper. Uh, Volker, are you laying down, or are you standing up right now? Uh, he would have seen it. Um, he what? He would have seen it. Tell him just Okay, whisper. you just see like a flash of Light you coming yeah. from uh, Silas's hand as some of uh, Jingle's wounds heal. Hmm. Of course, Volker is going to notice that. Ferris. Uh, uh, Ferris will say, oh, You moved into a real bad position there, Silas. Yeah, catch. And now he's going to find out just last at the snow bait in front of him. <laughs> it says. Wait, is it up to if it's up to ten feet I'll move it? Let me double check. <laughs> right in front of silence. Well, if it's up to I'll um I only move it five feet, but if it's act is is it five or ten feet or just ten feet? It's ten feet. It says up to. Would that be ten feet. Do five feet? Okay. Alright, I guess you're gonna have to catch Silas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Silas is gonna probably like run here, 
turn around just as uh, Varys is shooting a snow maiden. Oh, maybe not. Well, come on. Yeah. Yes. Varys is shooting a snow maiden at uh, him. That's ball. Oh. I should kill that one. <laughs> oh yeah. It just disintegrates before it hits you. Did you just throw a snow maiden at me, Varys? <laughs> Sorry, it's a pointy ear thing. <laughs> no, I mean, knife ear thing. Yeah, knife uh, ear. Remember, a side, he keeps a grudge. <laughs> uh, then, uh, bonus action. Move the spiritual weapon just like five feet this way. Uh, and then, going to move ten feet back here. Jingles is alive. Oh my god, this took a lot longer than I thought it would Drinking a potion. One action. Mm. Okay, I'll pull a, a potion out of my belt pouch and uh, chug it then. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna put it on your stuff? Chills. I don't have the coding. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I, it's not on my sheet. Hold on, I'll do it. <laughs> what What are you using? Normal one. Yes. I don't know. You must have deleted it then, because I gave it to all your characters before we even started the I game. I, uh, I don't see it. Right, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna move back by uh, by Grimace. All right, half move. Stand up and go for it. Monkey in a tutu, woggling all the way over here. I thought he was in a wedding dress now. Oh wait, <laughs> is he still in there? He'll come, wander, he'll come up and wander up here. This, this is really sucking. We, uh, we need to finish these bitches off. I don't see any more of them. I think you got them all, Jingles. As one comes down. As one floats down, oh, yeah. And no. ends, ends, ends his turn right there. Okay, so let's down that life thing again. Oh, there's something I want to do before we finish today. So we're going to have to go a little over time. Well, at least we'll have to do one. It's sad when we get excited over double deuces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, Clyde is going to um, take a shot at uh, this ugly thing. Make sure I got a target. It's no made of gawky. Yep. And it's going to hit. And unfortunately, I don't. Let me see. I had that ensnaring strike, uh, but she can't be restrained, right? No. All right, so I won't. I won't do anything with it. Then he's gonna bonus action before his next shot. Hunter's mark on it. I thought it was a one. Hey. Halfling look. Yeah, halfling reroll. Oh, that's right. And then um, that's going to be the end of Clyde's turn. Uh, Volker 
is going to uh, check his health, which is 18. Uh, okay, that's fine, right, guys? He is going to take a potion from his... Actually, no, he's going to... Yeah, he's going to take a potion of healing from his belt. What, you need to make a save first? Uh, what for? Because you're under half health. No, because I'm not a monster anymore. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Back. I will use half my movement to stand up. I will uh, take a potion from uh, my belt. I will pop the cork. And I will swallow with the delicious oh, red life-giving sustenance. Then I will raise my shield and prepare myself for an ass-whooping. <laughs> Clyde. Oh, Clyde's going to take a couple shots at it. You might be able to kill it. Oh! <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh! Yay! Clyde. He got her. Yeah, killed it. Okay, Clyde's yeah. going to tip up the end of his crossbow and blow on it. <laughs> uh, I'll yell to everyone, don't move! And I'll quickly pop down, uh, what's it called? The uh, totem of, damn it, spirit totem, sorry. And I'll use the, uh, the unicorn one, so everyone gets, everyone that I don't heal now automatically gets my druid level of hit points within that 30 foot radius. I thought it, he I thought it healed you now that it could be. No, it's it's anyone in there, I think. It's anyone in that uh in that radius. That so if yeah, I just 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 to speed things along, heal everyone up. You're out of combat. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna heal everyone up. Jesus <laughs> Because it's basically seven times two d six that I'm gonna do, and everyone else gets five hit points every heal, so everyone gets four. Yeah, health. yeah, you'll just heal everyone to full health. So heal yourselves to full health. I'm not even gonna roll all that shit because that's that's too much. Full health <laughs> minus the hit points, or oh yeah, you, you, your t your HP is still shot, but you're back you're back at the full full HP, but you don't have your extra. Whatever. Thank thank you, Grimace. Uh what 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 creature was up there, guys? What uh, happened? Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's got a lot of treasures up there, and, and uh, we should was drag it. The, it. Was it the scorpion? Uh, kind of. It had a scorpion tail. Oh oh oh! Does it have pincers? Uh, no pincers, just scorpion tail. Oh, Clyde's definitely was... going up there to do an examination. How big was the thing's head? Oh, we should. Yeah, we should get chop its head off and take it as a trophy back with us. I think we, I we, say we take a rest. I was thinking more of just proof that we actually killed the thing. I say we take the whole thing back with us. Uh, we should take the stinger and stick it to a stick and poke people with it. I, I hear that you're uh, volunteering to uh, lift and drag it, Silas. Yeah, uh, uh, considering I'm the one who killed it, I suggest that you all drag it back for me because it is my trophy. <laughs> I You're we welcome, by the way. We're dragging you down that mountain. Yeah, we can take the head or the stinger. I'm sure either will be su sufficient to prove that we've killed the thing. What do you guys say we take the rest off in the cave? I'm sure nothing will come attack this. I'm sure this thing is the leader of this area, and nothing will come and bother its its den. Do we have a bag of holding? I got one. Oh, then we can store the head in there, right? If they want to put hey, a hey, bloody hey, 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 head hey. in there. Uh, yeah, uh, Jingles, like, crosses his arms. I said I want to take the whole thing back with me, damn it. We're taking the whole thing. We're dragging it down the mountain. And then you can drag the whole thing yourself. Oh, next time we fight something, uh, I won't kill it then, okay? How's that? How about next time you're dead, I won't drag you to the healer? How's that? Uh... uh you guys will see Gromis come up to the ledge. Are there any pebbles there? Yes. The pebbles all along the ground. I'm gonna collect well, uh, many pebbles. Hey, 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 let's look for some hand crossbows. Hello? No hand crossbows. <laughs> Arguing with each other, I'm gonna do an investigation check of this place. Unless, yeah. unless Jingle stops me, I will try to begin cutting off the head of the wolf. But uh, if Jingle stops me, I will stop. I'm gonna lay right across where the neck is then. 
Come on, I want to take the whole thing back. Please, come on, please. Uh, we don't have the resources to drag this giant thing back, okay? Uh, what do you mean resources? You grab a piece and drag. What, how, wait, how, how far did we travel to get to this thing? Okay, Jiggles, why do you want to drag the entire thing back? About a half a day. <laughs> Look how impressive the fucker is. I, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's head will show that, okay? It's head will show the, the group it that doesn't, you're... It, that's not even the coolest part. Look, it's got a scorpion. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa. We can take the tail If you the take the head, the you head. gotta take the tail. All right, uh, so I assume I can collect these six pebbles faster than these uh, guys that are done arguing. Yeah. Come on, I will give up... Uh, any in reward we get for this if we take it back. Uh, uh, hold on, why don't we compromise? Why don't we both take the tail and the head? The two most impressive parts. And then there's only very little bit extra left to drag back. Let's just drag the whole thing. Well, the, the you why? why? If you can build a sled, then I'm sure we can take turns dragging it back. But if you can't build a sled, then we're cutting off the head. Clyde can build a sled. How? He can build a whole thing. And you see Volker. Volker just glaring at Clyde and putting his finger over his mouth. No, don't do that. <laughs> I just give I just give them great big cute monkey eyes. Come on, please. Volker, please, stop, please stop humoring him. Just cut the head off and the tail and we'll take that with us. You cut the head off. He wants to bite me. I want to take the whole thing. Just... Come on. Uh, and Gorgio, question. I think I have far more than Volker. Would it take half a day as well? It's a 2,000 pound beast. It is dead oh, okay. weight, and you're climbing down a mountain. What do you yeah, think? That's a one-ton piece of crap. I mean, but if we all work together, we can, we can get it. Well, you give me your sword. I can't cut it off with my rapier. Uh, I have a rapier as well. Right. Uh, sh shall, gentlemen, shall I do it? And uh, Varys will pull out his staff and mutter, you know, some words, and it'll turn to a big scythe. Yes, yes, Varys, please cut its tail and it just the stinger in its head. Yes. All right. That stinger is pretty big. Maybe we can harvest some poison from it. I see I'll, how it is. I don't, I'm not at loved, I guess. I'll but do that. Uh, I'll cut off the head. Do I have to make any rolls for this? No. Okay. Uh, listen, uh, Jingles, it's nothing personal, but we just can't drag this beast. It's just too damn big. But, uh, in Gorgio, I rolled for investigation to see what if there's yes. anything hidden. You, you see, in here, you find six diamonds worth about 100 gold each, and one little piece, a shard of amber. A shard of amber. Uh -huh. Fancy. Can I you know, we do can a... Hand crossbows now. Can I just do an investigation solely on the shard of amber to see if what it potentially could be? Um, sure. Or do you want something else? It's like it's like it's, it, it's like a little sliver of amber. Yes, but it's in this cave with that that monster was in, so it's probably not as what it as uh, mundane as it might appear. Uh, give it uh, Arcana. Okay, Arcana. You are not sure. It looks like just a normal piece of amber. Okay, he'll try and pick it up then. Okay, I put all that stuff in party sheet. Okay. But nothing in happens to me when I pick it up? No. Okay. I guess just keep that. Uh, since how much do I still owe the party? Let me check what you owe me. Uh, you owe me 46 gold. So you as owe you, me 75. As you guys are sitting in here kind of arguing and talking and stuff, you do hear some moans. Some, like, moans coming from the south. Oh, like the snow maiden moans that we heard before? Yes. Ah, fuck. We need to get out of here, you guys. I, I, I kind of agree. Scoop a new thing up in, in your bag, so let's get out of here. Yeah. But I'm going to collect uh, my arrows and broken arrows, too. Anyone got any fire to lay these poor innocents to rest? <laughs> Fuck them, let's get out of here. Uh, well, I guess, uh, what do we got? Six bang? Yeah, so I guess they'll take my cut of the diamonds and just split it between the party for my debt that I owe them. <laughs> How about you take your own diamond, sell it, and then give me the gold? I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> wait, wait, Silas is paying us with the, the shared loot? Yes. We, we, yeah, we, Silas. 
We shouldn't sell the diamonds anyway. Uh, Promus, can't you like use diamonds later on in your abilities? I think so. I'm not sure. Resurrection. I'd, I'd like to keep one or two of them. I suggest uh, would, 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 the would, would, keep them all. Would, would you guys know that though? No, I don't. I, I said Grandma says I think so. I don't know. So th this this monkey says it, but I don't know how the monkey knows anything about druid stuff. I've been alive a long time, so who knows? So what you, are got, you guys talking as, about again as you guys are sitting here talking, you hear the moans getting kind of louder from the oh, south. Let's okay. get, get out of here before the golden girls show up again. Okay, has the head been removed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and I will take... How heavy is the friggin' um, the wolf's head? I think head? we put it in the bag of holding the head. Oh, okay, then let's just go. And Silas will come out and... Someone take it. Who's carrying the tail? Uh, uh Jingles, you can, you can wear the tail like a scarf. Or you can use it as like a, a dagger. Stab people with it, Jingles. Uh, you're bigger than him. <laughs> can Silas right, see yeah. anything coming from the south? I should be see if there's some no. way of like giving myself no. some like okay. knuckle dusters or something. In that case, Silas is just gonna head down well, here. Right, right before the, Silas starts heading down there, Varus will turn to his raven and land on Silas's shoulder to go with him. Yeah, will... Varus, you can't just walk, you know. It's good for you. Quickly oh. head back down the mountain. Wait, That's where's the most that... coming from the south? Wait, from... We were going yeah. north, weren't we? Yeah. Silas is going to go from the south. Crap, yes. crap, crap. Well, yeah, if you guys want to go to the temple, we're heading north. Yeah, so he'll go, he'll head up towards the temple then. As soon as these okay. mounts stop, we need to find some place to rest. Yes, if we're going to find a place to rest, I will use the... the well, quietude. You know that the... from what the people told you, that the Amber Temple wasn't too far away from where you currently are. Okay, well, head there. I guess. And if we're going to find a place to stay, I'm going to burn the quietude card so that we can have an undisturbed rest. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you want to try and take a rest on this mountain and there's really no cover? Yeah, uh, right. Well, I just, we'll go until we find cover, I suppose, or some place that we can rest. Okay. Or, or is that like until we get to the temple itself? Well, so we're, you guys are continuously going up and just going until you can find someplace, right? Yeah, like, I mean, any, like, little indents in the walls or anywhere, I guess, that isn't just the middle of the path. Well, so you guys are continuing going up, and you kind of see, as you're heading up, like, riding, winding around, you can see what looks like the top of... Um, of like a castle type thing. Oops, not that. I will point at it and I will say that has to be the temple. What was your first clue? <laughs> All right, so well, I'll show you this. So the the shelf of rock on which the mountain road clings grows pretty narrow. Uh, to the left, the icy cliffs rise sharply toward dark rolling clouds and to your rights uh, actually I'll stop that, it's too late uh, and to your rights the ground falls away into a sea of fog ahead through the wind and snow you see a high wall of black stone lined with spikes and tops by statues of demonic vultures with horned heads set in the center of the wall is a closed iron portcullis behind which burns a curtain of green flame What are, what are those in the picture? Are those guards? Uh, those look like statues. Ah, okay. I don't like it. Uh, it doesn't look like a toasty fire. So I'm gonna move you a map really quick. You know, I'm, I'm starting to remember the, uh, the vineyard. Maybe we should have gone there, you guys. We would have been wandering around for possibly years at this point. We didn't know where it was. It's not been that long. I still remember the warm turnip ale of that tavern in Barovia. 
<laughs> oh god, this is yeah. a big map. Jesus. So, you should be able to see kind of where that, uh, oh shit, where'd it go? Kind of like there, where my arrow is for the side view. That's kind of like right there where that green stuff is. Does that make sense? Ah, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So, but there is like, oh wait, this path is like leading right up to it. Correct. And then on our left and our right, you have like high differences from the mountain range. Yeah, so the left, it leads up and up and climbing into a mountain. And on the right, it just drops off. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. gotcha. Uh, Volker has an amazing insight about this place. And he says, oh, pretty defensible location. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if, if you're inside, we're outside. <laughs> Does Clyde know anything about this weakness he feels from these uh, chicks that took some hit points? Like how how to recover them? Um, give me an arcana. Uh, you are not sure. Mm. And to be fair, uh, <laughs> Silas will also. Well, on the thought of regaining some of his stamina. Yeah. Oh, Met cool. in town. Uh, Silas, you're not sure. Volker, maybe taking a, a long sleep might help. Mm, okay. I will say, I, I feel like uh, I haven't eaten in days. We should. Uh, we should take a rest as soon as possible and uh, have a have a nice, uh, a nice good dinner. I think that will help us all uh, uh, strengthen up for the coming tribulations. Uh, if you're hungry, I can just can kind of up some berries. Uh, rest is important as well. Oh, you should have started with that. Are we going to be able to find a place to camp, or are we something we're going to have to wait till next session? Where, well, where? right where you're at, like, if you're looking at this map, you guys are kind of, like, right there. Like, okay, right, so around the, right, around, right around the bend. Okay, so we'd have to go inside, but I'm assuming probably something is going to attack us once we enter there, so probably next session. Oh, no, we're stuck on for a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Quick question, just, just not, not too much. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Quick question, Um When uh, when uh, Bromus was doing the healing stuff, was that would count as a short rest? Nope. Why not? Because you didn't take an hour to do all the healing stuff. It's like a minute. Yeah, it would have yeah. taken like a minute or two. Uh, okay, because well, thought... one minute because uh, the aura was like one minute duration. And then, then you, and, then, and then you heard the moans, and then you guys were taken off. Uh, to be fair, we did lose stuff. We didn't rest it. Uh, could I yeah. roll an arcana or something to see if I'm able to recognize what the symbols on top of like the gate thing is? Uh, sure. Be, like, weird symbols? Uh, okay. like, are you talking about like, like these things? Yeah. They look like uh, gargoyles. Like you, you like. Most oh, like gargoyles. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Let's uh, get a little closer to this thing. Maybe we'll have a better look at it. I will uh, begin walking up towards the gate. All right. Um, so as you're walking up, I'd say like you round the bend, kind of like right there. Um, you see someone. Uh, you see a figure standing there in front. Uh, do they see us? Oh yeah, they're, they looks almost like as if they're waiting for you. And they're wearing like a, a long cloak, a long black cloak that's covering their features. I will uh, raise my hand. I will say, hail there, uh, stranger. Uh, can you perhaps tell us how to get through this gate? Uh, and... 
this person, they kind of, they put down their cloak, like they take the cloak off, and um, it's a it's a female, actually. Hello, oh, nurse. She kind of looks like this. Let's see. Whoa, you're 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 a sight for sore eyes, my love. And she's not a monkey, Jingles. As hey, neither am I. <laughs> and as she's as she looks at you, looks like she's looking at into each of your souls almost. And she says, "In my youth, I was truly confused about whether I wanted to be surrounded by men, or whether I just wanted to be a man. My favorite moments were when I was surrounded by my armies and could forget just for a moment that I was a woman." Then, as I aged, I realized there was nothing men could do that I could not best them at. Can, can you uh, post that to the chat? Sure. Grumus immediately starts thinking about everything that she just said in his mind, like flashes of light in front of his eyes. I will say to this woman, men and women, they are equal in my eyes. You should not have to prove yourself to men. <laughs> Honestly, men can be kind of dicks. Yeah, but so can women. Well, I would like to officially welcome you to my land. Where are our manners? May we perhaps inquire your name? Uh, my name uh, is Thomas. As she said, it's her land. I have a feeling this says who we think it is. And she looks at you and says, Yes, Grimace, the Frobog. I know exactly who you are. And Silas, Enron, the Butcher Berez, Volker, whose father is almost exactly like you. Varys, the want-to-be. Clyde, the little halfling. And Jingles, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, why are you sorry? Uh, uh, Lady Strad, I assume? And she will kind of laugh and bow her head. And you, you are correct. And uh, I, uh, I use will a perception curtsy. check to see if she has a fangs. Sure. I will curtsy to her. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard such good things. <laughs> I'm sure you have. If we've met before, my past memory is kind of garbage, so uh, it's a pleasure anyway. And she will look at Volker. As Volker looks at her, she looks back at you. And you can kind of see, like, she kind of puts her hand on this big healthy sword that looks like she could draw at any moment and she smiles at you and you can definitely see fangs. Uh, Volker will draw his weapons and immediately charge at her and say die vampire. Uh, hey, hey, Volker, hey, Volker. Grab him by his, by his cloak to try and stop him. Uh, I'm going to try to grab him too. Go ahead. Roll and, thing, both of you. Yeah. yeah Mine's just right. Right. He's about 100 yards away. Uh, so grapple check or yes? Okay, against Volker, this should be bad. No, he doesn't have that high strength actually. <laughs> that was bad. So Volker, as you say this, yeah, almost as if it was almost like before you could even think. Like, as soon as you say it, she's right next to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> and she's gonna claw you. Okay. God damn. And, oh. then, she, and then she's gonna uh, claw you again. How dare you be so insolent. Please don't kill him. He's. He's an idiot. But Silence! Yes, my lady. 
And you see uh, Volker raise his hand over his, uh, the marks across his chest as he's bleeding. And he glares at her in defiance. What do you do? I will you. spit out some blood and I will straighten my back. And I will lay my hand on a, a wooden stick by my belt. Does she Volker. do anything? Volker, take the clue. She's staring right at you, see what you're gonna do. Volker, now's maybe not the time. I look at my party left and right, and there's a woman who is clearly uh, a few leagues above my uh, my my pay grade, and I will uh, grunt in pain as I'm still bleeding, and I'll say, I will spit out some blood, and say, oh, what do you want? I'm sure you're not here for a pleasant uh, dinner party. What do you what do you desire, my dear? I see some people have told you about this little temple. I do not want you to go up there. You need to turn back now or be destroyed. That's a fair warning, uh, but... I'm going to start walking back you, down the path. You would... <laughs> You acknowledge that you are indeed Strahd or one of his? One of his? As she, she kind of looks at you and raises her eyebrow with a little smirk on her face. His? This is... So, you're a woman then? You see, that's what's funny about you men. You never think no. that a ruler can be a woman. Not necessarily, it's just the, I guess, stories had you pictured in more of a masculine way. Well, damn it, Gorcho. Why my weakness, pretty women? I will, uh, I, I will tell this woman. No great... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I, you go. You, oh, you, you seem to know an awful lot about us and have taken uh, interest in us as well. Why do we owe this honor? Well, you are the butcher, and I like That's new playthings. That's a name that means nothing to me. Do not interrupt me. Uh, this is your last warning. You are the butcher. I wanted some new friends, so I brought you here. I'm bored. I uh, see. I will so you brought us you oh, tell sorry. us that we could not enter. Oh, you cannot enter my to this land up here. Go where you want, but not up into the temple. I will uh, look her in the eye and I will say, there is nothing that can keep us from this temple. If not now, then next time. Whatever it takes, we if will cut your hair. So when you say that, she's going to uh, grab you by the throat. And please, Strad, please, please, please don't kill him. Um, and she's gonna, she's gonna, Volker, she's gonna hang you over the sledge. That's not, you know, Silas will try and like move up here. Uh, that's, if you want friends, dropping them off a cliff is not the way to get them. But Lady Strad, please, may I, may I ask something of you? What is it? You have nothing to fear from us. You are clearly more powerful than us. Why do you not? Why do you fear us going to the Emperor Temple? Do you fear that uh, there's nothing there that we could find that would uh, destroy your power in this land? Obviously, because you are so powerful and beautiful, and and everyone fears your name. Let's just say I don't want you up there. That's all you need to know. Why, do you have some freaky hobby going on up there? Yeah, I mean, if that's the sex dungeon, we'll definitely go there. <laughs> just ignore the fools. If you would just safely put the blood hunter down, we will leave this place. And she'll look at you and say, What do you say? Uh, she looks at Volker. No, she, she looks at Silas and asks, What do you say? Are, are we seriously doing this, Lord use Strahd? Your, use, use your manners, damn it! <laughs> Please. It, Please what? Please put the blood hunter down without 
dropping you off the cliff. Psst, Lady Strahd. Very well. And she says, I know this must feel very strange, but ordinary is just what you are used to. This may not seem ordinary to you right now, but after a time it will. This will become ordinary. It's already fairly ordinary at this point. As she looks... Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, sorry, go ahead. No, go for it. Uh, who was that woman chick called that we had to... Uh, Escort Liana, Liana, Irina. Lorena. Uh, yeah. yeah. uh, what business did you have with Lorena? Oh, she is not of your concern. I and I, I, I do thank you though very much for taking her to Valakai. Hey, anything yeah. for you, Lady Strad? Jingles, stop kissing ass for just a moment. <laughs> I'd rather kiss ass than eat ass as when I hit the fucking ground of this mountain. Uh, is there any... Yes, Silas is going like, to kind of like bow slightly, right, putting his hands out to his side. Is there anything else that you wish of us, or should, can we leave? Hmm. Well, before you leave, I will let you leave, but one thing. I want to thank you, first of all, for ridding me of that insolent priest from uh, the village Barovia and his stupid son. Thank you for that. And thank you for escorting Irina to uh, Valakai. And for causing ruckus with the hags. Ah, that was so fun to watch. Uh, yeah, too bad they don't fit in their ovens, you know. Yeah, they need to get bigger ovens. So, I advise you to all to keep your friends very close. For some of you will die only too soon, and the others, well, the others will betray you. And she will burst into a thing of bats and fly away. No, wait! I think wait. Marina was related uh, to you, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, wait, oh, I had well, some... Well, uh, this is a... <laughs> It'll see us again. Wait, wait she left? So she called Silas the Butcher, right? What happens she if did. we go inside? Hey, hey, she left. We can go to the Amber. I was now. sitting down the trail making notes. Bulger, hey. I think we should probably just leave. I, I think she left. Uh, I think we should take our chance. I'll I, say I, this, this hag clearly fears us. Whatever uh, she just, kind of like, just stares silently in disbelief at Volker. I will say whatever is in this temple is enough to make her afraid. If we you find can't it, be this, you can't we be can this use it to Volker. kill. Uh, Volker, let's uh, head down a bit and, and talk about... Uh, come on, let's just leave for now, at least. I, I, will, uh, I will grab Volker and I'll... Uh... I'll, I'll try and shake him up a little bit and say, What are you talking about? This woman is too strong. She'll kill us. Maybe, but clearly she doesn't want us to enter here. Because whatever is in this temple is too powerful even for her. How or do you know you that? Don't know. It's or simple simply, logic. Or you know what? Simply... Go try and enter. Let's see what happens. I'm sure I'm sure Strahd is not watching at all right now. Come uh, on. Let, let, let's go. You wanna volunteer, Volker? Go ahead. I'll I'll be like ten feet behind you, and I want to see what happens to you when it when you pass through that gate. So all of you are just going to run away. Uh, Volker, we have other other things to do. Silas will cross his arms like I'm. Not, I won't go anywhere if you decide to try and enter, Volker. But I will not intercede if Strahd comes back. I'm not going to throw my life away. But if she doesn't come back, you'll. Join me. I will follow. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I'm your party member, so I'll have, I'll have to help you. Besides, I'm a healer. I'm not that good at doing damage. What about the rest of you? Uh, if she could return me to a, a real form, I'll, I'll, I'll kiss her feet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chill What's back, that, Jingles. 
You'll, you'll kiss the feet of some vampire just because she will give you what you want? Of course, that's kind of how the world works. And you see Volker just point at uh, Jingles. You see, that kind of behavior leads me to believe that you will be the one that betrays us. At the end, hey, if she, she offers will pay your loyalty. If she offers me a body that doesn't uh, doesn't look like this, I'll, I'll take it an instant. Volker, why are you listening to what? Why are you listening to what she said? Are the words truly twisting your mind? You see, the Volker is just gritting his teeth. She's trying to. Uh, hold on. Let me do it. Why do you trust her, Volker? I suggest caution. This building and whatever's inside will be here later. Right. It's not but going anywhere, but I, I will leave on move. one condition: that all of you. When we are stronger, I'll return here with me to get what I was just about to suggest that. Once we have a better understanding of what we are currently up against or dealing with... I will we'll take out my knife it. and I will say, Silas, I want your oath. <sighs> you will return here when we are stronger. I'll try, I'll try and through. slap the knife out of Volker's... Uh, Silas yeah. will... will be Silas will crouch down and take the knife back up before... Removing one of his gloves and cutting his hand with the knife. A Volker will cut his own hand, and he will shake yeah, Silas's. He'll, oh my he'll God, reach out and clasp Volker's hand. God, you've got a teenager. Let it, be, it is a blood oath, then. We will return here one day. But for now, let's head back to the village and tell them that we accomplished our mission. Oh, Very well. Idiot stuff. Indeed, I. Uh, we've, we're, sometimes I wonder how I get hooked up with you people. Though I 100% agree with all of you, I would have wanted to have this conversation a couple hundred feet away from this location. So I was trying to get to you guys, but if you want to make right here in front of the gate, that's on you. Yeah. Maris, did you not hear what Strahd said? She had been watching everything we've done. She knew about the hag. She knew about us transporting Arena. She knew about the priest and the sun. Look, we're not very quiet about what we've done. It's not very hard to to work out the atrocities we've been uh, linked to, I guess. You know, you honestly well, think you it's take this quite easily. Don't you wonder about Jingles? Just how far will he go to return to his true form? even stab one of us in the back. I'll take any form at this point. Again, Volker, to think that you would have to first trust the words that she told you. I don't I trust, trust her words, I trust Jingles' words. Oh. And Jingles just told me that he would. You trust Jingles' words? <laughs> I sure don't. So <laughs> will continue walking off. I hey. got my eye on you, monkey. I was just starting to like you. Hey, you, now... can still, you can still like me. It's just... I'm just letting you know that uh, I've, I'm tired of uh, I'm we'll really find some other way I'll tell you this a vampire's gifts always come at a price well I know that <laughs> you might wish one day that you had stayed a monkey if you accept whatever deal she offers you I don't know I look confused and say I thought Strahd was a a guy we should never assume. Maybe he's a shapeshifter, for all we know. I never would assume that Shaw was a good-looking lady. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I mean, wow. Everybody referred to him as he. It's yeah. messed up. This land is messed up, I'm telling you. Perhaps I don't know if we should trust that. that. Might have just been a, one of Strahd's vessels, but... For now, let's go on the assumption that it is Strahd, but... I'm not 100% convinced yet. If it was well, Strahd... Oh, wait, that was an illusion. No. That might not have even been real. I mean, one of his servants. I don't... If it was Strahd, I don't think Velker would have survived any of his assaults. Maybe... You see that Velker uh, has, a, has a big bloody claw mark across his chest, and he says, I barely survived that. It's a good look for you. Do you want me to heal you, by the way? Yes. Maybe that was just a warning. Well, oh, there seems to be nothing in this long past. Maybe we can have a rest. Yeah. Uh, I'll just tell Volker to hold still for a second. I'll heal him. My healer. 
I mean, I, I, I mean, if we do want to try for the Amber Temple, I can, I can teleport through the gate, probably, if I can find a shadow on the other side. That, that would be for next time when we come back, Jingles. I think. Jelly Bean Loser, thank you for the if follow. We are being watched. Welcome. Teleporting shouldn't wouldn't probably help much. We need to find some way of stopping her from crying at us or whatever she's doing to yeah. watch us. Yes. Are there any of them stupid gooses around? What's this about a goose that you keep going on about? <laughs> there is no goose in this land. Have you not seen it, Volka? No. Maybe the goose is Strad's eyes and ears. Maybe the goose is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> uh, I'm, Volker, how many hit dice do you have? Uh, six. Okay, so... Yeah, it's a level. Uh, so it's plus so, ten. So what, what do you guys want to do f from here? Do you want to go back, like, down to the town, or do you want to try and force your way into this temple? I think we should go back and give the head and the stinger to uh, whoever it was in that town. Yeah, I think head back with the idea that we'll come back when we're stronger. It's since you just had the big bad end bar, yeah, and boss tell us not to go there Agreed. just yet, so... Agreed. The goose is not stupid. Yeah, I'm kind of torn, but at the same time, I just kind of like maybe just head back to the village for now because. Well, we do have know. other things we can find, like, you know, we would like to the go to the winery, to the vineyard, yeah, because that would also help us in the same way that going to the Amber Temple will. Because if you guys look at my, my card reading the Raven one in the notes. That's not another place we're supposed to be looking forward to. Yeah, and I think that it, this was Clyde's reading, right? The the sword in the Amber Temple. Yeah, that would definitely be Clyde. So, yeah, this isn't the only lead we have. All right. I guess uh, Clyde's destiny is for another day. Okay. Oh, that was an exciting day. Let's <laughs> head back down the mountain. I'll uh, ask while we're walking back down. I'll ask Clyde if he needs some extra parchments and a quill, since he is writing a lot of stuff down. Oh no, I got some. Okay, and then I'll offer Volker some parchment and a quill. Maybe he's Strahd's eyes and ears. He's writing everything down. He's not yes. writing a bestiary. That's different. Volker, do you need a quill or a parchment? I'm fine. Okay. Well, you never can tell. Alright, so we will start next time back down in Niedrag with the with the uh, the people. Uh, maybe Volker will be allowed in this time, who knows? <laughs> It'll do Volker's mood wonders to be refused again. You just got your ass kicked, though. <laughs> Lady Strad, woohoo! I like that. Nice twist. Yeah. Do we Maybe. know she's Strad though? Well, she said she was. Is she really though? Yeah. That's what we'll be found out at a different time. <sighs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. All right. So so, uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Uh, what, about a half hour, because I wanted to get through that, like, actually show this happening. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back here in two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Cool. I'm going to roll the inspiration. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I want to get rid of some cards, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to get a, see about getting a card as well. All right, y'all can have fun doing that. Um, got the stream stuff. Bam. All right, so thanks guys for um, for hanging out today. Um, that was that was fun. Um, and yes, that actually is Strad, even though they might think it's not, but they met Strad. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow at eight thirty in the morning Central Time to play uh, session, I think, five of Odyssey of uh, the Dragon Lords. And then uh, Monday night at 7.30 p.m., we'll be playing uh, 
episode one, or session one, of a Deadlands game. So, that'll be fun. Uh, thanks, guys, for the follows. And uh, if you're just joining and you want to, like, catch up on past episodes, I do have donations turned on, actually. Um, I think so. Yeah, tips. Um, yeah, if you want to check out past episodes, uh, there's my YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out. Um, and I think that's it. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we will see you tomorrow morning. Take care. Goodbye.